What's up, players? It's the Dr. Green Thumb uh, show. Up in here. I'm Dr. Green Thumb. Smoke. What's cracking? I could barely hear myself today. Um, I got C minus here. Hey. What up? What up, C? <laughs> oh, you know. There we go. Just hanging out. Just hanging. Yeah. We got Psycho Less. No doubt. Salute. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Cheers. We got Bolton Blombo and Bra Bra and the Dominator in uh, the Watchtower. We're bicking back in the Sniper Tower. That's right. Just be boo. <laughs> We're bicking it, being just, boo. Just be boo. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Bicking with the bold school. All right. <laughs> too that's far. Right. Yeah, that you went too far. <laughs> you like add B's that's to with, words that shouldn't. Yeah, that's with, yeah, that was with a G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you can even have to replace those letters, bro. Yeah. If you were saying ice cold, you you could then you could have said ice. That's that's ice bowl. Oh, we're still bro. learning. Yeah, we're you're learning. still learning. I'm, yeah, young Padawan is still learning. <laughs> Discipline, bro. Word up, and in the motherfucking place, the legendary lazy bone up there. Yeah. On thugs and harmony. So y'all want to smoke? Trying it. <laughs> yeah. What it do? Welcome back. Oh man. Always a pleasure. You already know. Oh, man. We're going to chop it up. Uh, and we got E-Zone up in the building. What's up, everybody? Yeah, baby. Yeah. It's just going to be back. Splashing it out with that nice UFC. Um, LA, I mean, LA. LAFC, sorry. Where the, was there a UFC fight this weekend? There. No. I got to remember. I, I, I don't think so. Don't that's think. the one thing I don't bet on. I was like, these fools could just sock each other at any time. Yeah, you know what I mean. They, they, there's no. Well, that's that's what they're doing. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm saying that's like it's it's, it's like I mean, no game, it's not that I'm saying it's not like it's tactical. It's like a team sport, but it's a whole yeah. different game. I want to say cheers to y'all, motherfuckers, at this table right here. <laughs> Salud. Cheers. You know what I'm saying? Salud. Bing, bing, bing. Here, click, yeah. click your glass. Yeah. Click your yeah. glass. Click. And there you go. Clink, 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 clink. clink. clank. I put out your joint. Pour it on. Black it back. Ah, oh, yes. Ooh. Is that mezcal or tequila? It's tequila. Ooh. I wish I had some mezcal, bro. Um, I want to say this off top to y'all motherfuckers that send in submissions. You could tease us all you want today, but guess what? <laughs> Dustin is here. Ooh. Bart's Barbecue, baby. Outstanding. So you ain't gonna tease us with all that food, and we are gonna starve over here, man. No. Oh damn, this fool's here. Man. The whole damn, this fool's here. I forgot. I, I just seen dust. I thought yeah. he was just hanging out. Me I too. Forgot. Lazy. I don't know how you feel about barbecues, but goddamn, he is the brisket king. He is one of the kings of barbecue. Yeah. Oh man. I love me some good barbecue, man. Oh, no. I was afraid yep. you were gonna say you were any, vegan. Any, uh, <laughs> you know, my whole family done went vegan on me, and I just can't do it. Not yet. I need, I need me some chicken. I need me some barbecue. I take some brisket. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's right. Man. Matter of fact, I'm the man on the grill myself. Boom. You know, there it is. There it is. What, what what you like to flip on the grill man, mostly? I flip it all. You know what I'm saying? I I cook a mean steak. I can cook you a, a good beef rib, you know what I mean? I can get the brisket going. I'm a old burner, but you know, that's what, right? that's where the burner came from, you know? My, yeah. si my sister dubbed me a old burner way back in the day. Way back. Because, you know, for our little parties and things. I You'd be burning up the grill. Burn it all the way down. Hey, you know what's crazy is you're finding more these days that motherfuckers in hip-hop got cooking skills. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like, you know, they always ask, so, you know, if you weren't doing this rap shit, what would you be doing? Shit, a lot of these motherfuckers could be chefs. Mm -hmm. Go to culinary school and rock it. Yeah. Like oh, like uh, our bro from uh, Tribe, Jerobi. Yeah, man. And Action Bronson went and got their little culinary, you know, 
I think he um, had he had that stamp. before he was rapping. Who? Action. Y- yeah, Jerobi got it after. Yeah, yeah. Like he was always good at cooking, but when he decided to you know depart from the group for that while, he went and focused on getting his his uh, credentials in culinary and shit. Oh, I man. just think it's one of the it's one of those degrees where. Like I, not that I regret going to CSUN and getting my, you know, my my communications degree, but I'm like I can't really reek the benefits of this shit unless until I hit the job like this, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm like I get to be in front of the mic and doing all this stuff, but like I'm like culinary, you like get to appreciate it and taste it as you go, bro. You're like, all right, first year, this is what my cooking tastes like. Right. Second year in this shit, tastes a little bit better. Like every year, you at least get to fuck around and see where you're at. Well, you'll oh, yeah. get you'll get more of an understanding on what goes together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I think so. You know, I, w- I was honored to have spun at one of Jerobi's cookouts here that he had at uh, the Line Hotel, and I tasted some of the food, man, and it was delicious. Jerobi gets down. Worth. So what up, man? Yeah. You know, and it was. I, I think... went to the culinary school of the hard knocks. You know, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Everybody got to eat. I just opened the cabinet and. Whatever seasonings we working with, That's we're gonna right. make it taste. <laughs> we're gonna make right. it taste the best. Yeah. We gotta make it happen. You know Man. what I'm saying? Hey, I mean that's the that's the good shit that that you making it so you know what's going into it yeah. and you know what you are eating. I also yeah, think it's, they, I've been on the road so long. You know we've been on the road so long. Like I rather cook my own food yeah, or my yeah. girl cook or something. Like, True at that. Home, at home, my mama's <laughs> meals or something like that's the best. Yeah, that that road life we all know, man. Yeah, yeah. You I don't mean, really get to eat right all the time. Shit, you know? a lot of bands and groups take their own like their own cook. You know what I'm saying? So that they could eat the way they want to eat as opposed to deal with whatever that shit is at the venue mm-hmm. for, for you know, that they have for for lunch and dinner, man. And that shit, sometimes, and Bobo could tell you, man. You guys taking Bart's? I would take Bart's. <laughs> Yo, but, I mean, you can't have barbecue every day, yeah. man. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, I was like, yo, that would be the I mean, day. you can, but you got to be working extra hard. No, it just, oh, it just has to be like one certain piece or cut that day. There can't be that fucking buffet that we get here every fucking day. Yeah, you know, the thing is is that some tours, the main band will, will, will bring, you know, people that they fuck with. Catering. Catering that they fuck with. Not, or, and some just rely on the catering that's at the venue. Yeah. And when you do that, that's when you you risk in it because unless that venue is known for like having it top notch, right. you don't want to take a chance on that. Especially you going on stage and we talked about it many a times. You don't want to get the bubble guts no. where you got to do an hour and a half set. That's the worst. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Hopefully, like if it's bad enough food, you're hoping for a buyout where they just buy you out. You just go. Get hey, some you also got me, to know what to eat. Let me tell you what. Nothing is worse if you got that situation popping off and you're doing all up tempo songs where you got to jump around and do all <laughs> that around. crazy shit. I've done it. Oh, before. hell no. I've been on stage after I ate and it's not a good feeling. You got this fat belly poking out. Yeah. Yeah, and man. it feels like you it got bricks. And you can't times? really move too much. He's like, uh. Like, how many times did you have to go that for, like, for you to figure that out? Because I think, like, all it takes is once. Because any kind of thing that you requires you to yeah. dedicate yourself, like, bro, sometimes. Let's say if I had a show afterwards tonight, I, I might just be, take a little bit of the Bart's and save the rest for another plate because I've learned. I'm like, man, that energy and shit yeah. you deliver is not yes. the same. Yeah. Yes. yeah, man. Like, it is not the same. Fool hey, you is hey, not hey, like hey, fucking... My, hey, you will go into a portal like as if you were doing a fucking dab right there. Like Eric. Mm. You will fucking fall into one. Man. I don't... Listen, <laughs> there's days we had his barbecue, right? And I didn't touch the fucking... The stunden, the stunden, stunden glass. Did not touch it. But I went home and I was fighting off a portal like like I had taken 20 <laughs> hits of that fucking thing, yeah. man. That shit just, there's just something about it that gives you that fucking itis that <laughs> the portal comes calling for you, son. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. But I fucks with it. Because I'll fight a portal off in a hurry. <laughs> you never get caught lacking, though. Like, you never, like, B Rose is the one person that never, like, you know how everybody here has kind of been getting the itis, or like you've seen Tina to an extent. Well, like, yeah. bro, I've been on a plane with him, and like I swore, like the whole time I was like, man, is this fool? Like he has his eyes open or what? Like he just he maintained the posture. Like I don't think he ever sleep unless he's at home. You know, <laughs> like bro, they just <laughs> no matter what, I just, I don't understand, bro. Like he just like he could take a thousand milligrams, just take a bunch of dabs. Like I don't like how are you awake? <laughs> 
training. I was programmed different. I wasn't born. I was created, son. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the six you gotta teach Bobo, bro. He be, he be, he be, he be bro. <laughs> Bobo, and listen, Bobo's been catching portals since fucking <laughs> since the early days. They just, they just come more frequent now because of the dabs, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm dabs. Some shits hit. Oh yeah. no, you won't catch me out there like that. That's just it. Don't happen. You fuck with the dabs, man. I I have fuck with the dabs, but truthfully, I've been smoking since I was two, man. So that. <laughs> It kind of take me out the game. I, I can't do the dabs. I, I do a dab, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm not a dab doer. They used to uh, smoke. Tru- truly way. a dab a do. I, I, like you don't. One I think, dab. I'm good for. And that's good. A week. I'll say, I'll say that. That's good because that way you ain't spending so much money on the concentrates. It's those, that shit is expensive. It's an expensive mm-hmm. habit. But bro. that being said. It it's the most flavorful and in most impactful way to get stoned because the fucking high is immediate and the flavor burst that happens on your palate is way different. It's, it's the easiest way to lose a lung too. <laughs> yeah, like if you do the if you do the right amount, you're cool. It's just like if you overdo it and you're not really used to doing that shit. Yeah, it it could be a it could be a fucking. That's probably what happened to me though, B, because I was. I remember we was in Phoenix or something, man. First time I did a dab. I'm talking about sweating. I guess I did too much. Yeah. I hit it, I hit it too hard and too many times because I sat down. You know, the coughing was going, but mm. I started sweating. Yeah. And that scared me because I, you know, I, I was sweating too long. How long ago was this? This was like probably 2006. You know what it is? Mm-hmm. Is that because we, you know, like groups like ours we've been talking about weed for so long everybody you know wants to come with that shit to us right Mm -hmm. and when the concentrates came in you know many of us thought oh well you know fuck we smoke weed this shit ain't gonna be nothing and (laughs) the the shit happens right because it happened to me too i was in denver we were doing a 420 show in denver and the homies from weed maps salute to them uh you know they had like four or five you know, dab ninjas with them. You know what I'm saying? They all had fucking right. their own rigs and their own containers with their little concentrates They're and their dab them. tools and their fucking dab torches before e nails and all the shit. When it looked real cracky, right? <laughs> and right. Uh, man, they put me out of my mind. They put themselves <laughs> out of their mind, trying to put me out of my mind, <laughs> right? Yeah. My program was a little bit fucking <laughs> can't explain it it took me a minute to like cipher through it you glitched out i glitched out for a second but then i came back later on i had to, we had to do a show that night you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying i had to come back right readjust my my programming those guys that that try to put me to sleep they didn't come back right oh. sorry guys you ain't gonna fucking out Fuck, fucking with a pro. You ain't gonna out smash me. But let me say this: it took me forty five minutes to get back in the game and feel comfortable again. I had to kick everybody out of my room. I kicked all those guys right out of my room. I was wow! Like, hey. I told one of the homies, "Hey, get these motherfuckers out of here right now." <laughs> <laughs> Exit stage right. And, and salute to the way he handled it because he Can't. just did it all nonchalant. Hey guys, um. Let's go to my room. We're going to fucking party up there. And then he that's took the, off. Uh, he said like four of them fell out. Mm, that's the worst. They all went home. None of them came to the show because they were, they splashed themselves out trying to get me. And I still did a show that night. Was that honey oil when, it was, when they were calling it honey oil? <sighs> I don't know what the fuck, dog. It was just, it was that early shit. Yeah, that's what I was, like, cause they didn't even call it dabs. It was like honey yeah. oil or just Honey like, oil, yeah, just, yeah whatever. I, I, I remember I was like, it looked like they took a rolling pin and just and flattened it out. It was the more amber looking shit back yep. then. It was yep, like bro. they had it in their fucking jars and they were just scraping the shit out. Whoa. Before Shatter. It was before Shatter. Yeah. No one was, ro- they weren't rocking slabs yet. I think you got to give Dabs another try, bro. Um, you know, you just got to do it like the right amount, right temperature. Technology. Technology. Yeah. Like these Dabs right I here. I would fuck with this. Because this is definitely some, you know. You know, they say peer pressure is a mother. <laughs> 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 that's what that's they wrong. say. That, that's what I heard that. 
but yeah, you know, like that that was one of the first times I was uncomfortably but I, high. I would definitely do a, a dab would be real. I believe that. Oh shit. All right. That's, well, that's kind of bucket list shit, right? Well, we there, just do a flip, saying? you know what I'm saying? One flip and you're good. That is a dab. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that I mean, technically, yep. Yeah, te- you, technically one flip is good. You got some Caddy Blaze? I got some upstairs. You got to get yours. I don't got a, I don't got mine. Boy, I don't I even know it. if I, I I might have ran out of mine. We always use nah, mine. I just bought a stash. Buckle up. Ah, he bought a stash. <laughs> yep. You see how that? I said I ran out, and he goes, "Nah, I bought a stash." Uh-oh. As in the we. Yeah. Like he's finally getting it. I think we raised him right. Yeah, with he's certain there. things. Other things maybe not so much, but no, progress is happening. Progress is happening. I like progress. Is in full effect. What's up with the crew, the Bone Thugs? Oh man, everybody good, man. Right, chilling. We blessed, you know nice. what I'm saying? Like, everybody always asks us, what's up with the group? What's up with the group? Like, the group is family, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we all got our individual lives. We got children and and grandchildren and, and wives and mamas. You know, we all got families, man. So... We do every we do as much as we can together. Like you know, when we was teenagers, it was easy to, for all five to be together. At, yeah. At a time because that was the ambition was to mm. to make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But once we made it, we all figured out like that that whole solidary thought of what we was on together. It branched out. You know what I'm saying? So you had and that cra- naturally happens. Yeah, Crazy Bone was into producing it. Busy Bone, you know, it was time to do solo records and things like Acting, that. So, that. Yeah. And I was tending to the business, you know what I'm saying? So we all we all went our different ways for a few years, but it, it was only to bring us back stronger because we had to grow. Well, In yeah. hindsight, you can look back and see all that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what the fans need to understand. Bone, first of all, Bone Thugs and Harmony is family. Yeah. You see, when it came to the verses, you know, when the Voltron was supposed to come together, the whole fist Everybody was, was there. all up. Hey. That's what it is. So That's dope. That's hey, a good look. We man. good. We we had a chance. I mean, we we've played with y'all on many different occasions, man. And I gotta say, every time I had a chance to watch y'all like um get down like on when we're in the same location, right? We may be on different stages or we might even be on the same stage. When I get a chance, I watch. And these motherfuckers kill it every time. Like just the 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 way y'all stick the lines together, it it really is a harmony. Like that ain't no bullshit. It, I mean, beyond the name, y'all like fucking sync up like nobody's business. And I love that shit. So when I saw, I I mean, I've saw y'all plenty of times. There was I can't remember what city we was in. Y'all were on extra smash mode this night. It was just like everything y'all did was just locked. And y'all, y'all originated that fast flow. The, you know the. I mean, you know, we we made our contributions, man, and we did what we did. But it's, we've been doing it so long together. Like our style was devo- developed over time with the harmonies, with the fast flip flow. Like we didn't start out just being dope ass rappers yeah. that can put four, 14 syllables in a in two bars you know what i'm saying it was like we had to grab to get there cray cray wrote something that sparked busy that sparked me that sparked flesh and you know and so on and so forth so it was like our chemistry together that unison that harmony that's right it's like you know, it's undeniable. I always use the analogy of basketball. Like you got to know where you're supposed to be on the court, mm-hmm. but when the ball hit get to you, you know when to shoot it. You know, you know to penetrate, play D. You know what I'm saying? So all that came over time, man. And we, you know, damn near 30 years famous. So yep. you got you got to count the whole decade and a half before that that we even before we even hit the scene. You know, yep, the crafting. Yeah, you know, it take at least a decade, seven years, ten years for you to even become good at what you're really trying to do. True that. True. That is not wrong. Yeah, man. I remember I remember when Easy E brought y'all to, to Relativity. I was yeah, there, I met was, y'all. Yeah, you was down there and at I, Relativity. I, I I could just imagine like Easy E when he first heard y'all, like you y'all was coming with some other shit, like I could imagine he, he probably blew his mind and shit. Like what? Yeah, because what y'all was doing was so fucking different. Like just flipping it 
like on that style shit. Right. But harmonizing in the choruses yeah. or even just lines within the cadence, man, that shit was See, everything. And that's and that's exactly what Easy said though. He was like, Y'all different. Mm -hmm. He kept us away from everybody. He only let us fuck with a select few, you know what I'm saying? Black Hole of Watch, shout out to them. And when we was here in the beginning, but he was like, man, y'all different. And we would always want to rap. But we had a song called Gangsta Harmony, which turned into Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. And he always wanted to hear that shit. Like, like that we like, nigga, we singing, but we rappers, though. Like, let, it, let, us, <laughs> let us rap on these niggas, E, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But he was like... He wanted to hear the harmony, so, and. Yeah, I mean, y'all both wasn't wrong. You know what I mean? Because, right. like, the harmonies y'all were kicking, it, it was just, and, and the way y'all flipped it, man. And that was in the middle of a boom bap era. Like, everybody yeah. was doing that boom bap. I mean, y'all influenced a lot of motherfuckers that are doing it today, and they don't even know it. For real. Because of motherfuckers that took y'all style and sort of made it theirs that, and these other motherfuckers were might have inf been influenced by them, and they don't even know. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy, dynamic like that. That if you're a student of the game, you know this, but if you're not, you would you would never know that the styles that half of these motherfuckers flip are, you know, they came from the Bone Thug style. Yeah, like um, what what were you guys as you guys are coming up with this style and, and feeding off each other? What were you guys listening to? to like just listening to like hip hop wise. That's what I was saying like over time, you know, like so we we at the age when when we were young teenagers, you know what I'm saying? Run DMC and LL yeah. Cool J and all, you know, the East Coast was popping. You know what I'm saying? By the time we got to 7th 8th grade, that was elementary, but by the time we got to 7th 8th grade, you know, it was easy e all that, but we listen like our style was developed over time. If y'all remember a group called Fush Nickens. Yeah, yeah. Fush Nickens. They had yeah. the fastest, the vet verse on that. Right. That song was so goddamn fast. Chip, and Chip slick. Yeah. 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 Chip yeah. Now y'all forgot his name, He's but a killer. Yeah, I used to love that. And then uh Das Effects and Poor Righteous Teachers. Uh, yeah. Things right. like that. But but more so than the hip hop, you know, new edition and we sung all these different stuff. Yeah. You know, oh. our, our parents and then my, my mom and Crazy's dad, and they was all into the Temptations and, you know, Ohio players and, you know, the whole the Just whole listening thing. to all that so shit, yeah. In Ohio, it was basically an R&B type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? Because you had Levert, Gerald mm. Levert, rest yep. in peace and all that. So, you know, when we was, sing, when we was doing our raps and, and learned each other's raps, selling dope on the corner with the fire burning, you know what I'm saying? Like, we catching each other in words. So, and yeah. then it starts sounding like harmony. So my mom was like, y'all niggas are singing. <laughs> y'all harmonizing. So, boy, bring it from your stomach and all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that Start shit, teaching yeah. this house. So, man, it was, yeah, it was developed over time. But we came up through all the hip hop. Yeah, I mean, you could tell. That's dope. I mean, as different as it as it was, you could tell, man. Y'all was listening to some I mean, different hip hop shit out there. East I mean, Coast, I mean, y'all was singing, South. singing, and all yeah. that, but the shit y'all was spitting. Was oh street, yeah, the Super. hard shit too. Oh yeah, we was we was straight up talking about we will fuck you up. Yeah. Don't 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 just need, making it just sound. Don't nice. mess with <laughs> us. I hope it's a better world and a brighter day. Let us give us our room. Let us do our thing because we'll fuck you up flat <laughs> out. Yeah. And Straight give up. us our money. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And, Pay up. And, and that's the soundtrack to my life. <clears throat> feel me? And and roll up that good weed. You that's feel right. Me? Word. R Pay up and roll up. Ooh. Pay up and roll up. Pay up, roll up. Ooh, we might need to do that. There you it did is. That right? already? There goes the idea right there. Pay the new up track. Roll up. <clears throat> Pay up. Yeah, roll I can't up. tell you. And we were talking about this off off uh, off air, but like between us, you know, like there's always been our fans are our, our like core fans and their fans like always like when y'all gonna collaborate together oh uh, when is there gonna be a tour when is there gonna be a, a cypress bone thugs fucking collaboration of some sort yeah they i think people like our like our core fans have always like dreamed about this collaboration 
And we always say, like, well, we're out there. We're going to try to put this shit together, you know, and hey, timing. And I'm a, right, but I'm, a, I'm a fan of hip hop music, period. Like I love, I love this man. I I love what it did for our culture. You know what it did for us. So, really, I know the fans want it too. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna keep advocating. for Me it too, because I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? It's We're gonna put like, it together. That's bucket list shit right there. Like you can yeah. get how all day to this for real. Like <laughs> so, some 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 to look forward to. We still scratching the surface. That's know? right. The creativity ain't gonna stop. That's right. And we said it right here, so people heard it. Oh, yep. they'll hold us to it. Hold shit. us to it. Be like, hey man, didn't y'all um say y'all was gonna do something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all, yeah. Oh yeah, they gonna be in our DMs and shit. Y'all done yet? <laughs> yeah. Are, are you there yet? Did you pick a beat? Yeah, it's coming. Yep. Did you pick the beat? Yeah, what's the beat like? Send you the clip of this this it's crazy part. bone on the chorus. <laughs> it's, yeah, oh my. You might have to real cycle. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Send most that definitely. beat across we, the We got table, we got man. a project real cycle. So, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Should get on that. Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely a, a pleasure and an honor. So that goes without saying, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You take mushrooms? Not anymore. <laughs> I have. I did a few things, you know, mushrooms and ecstasy back in the days, but I ain't, you know. What happened? Alcohol, I, I drink, I smoke weed. I, I don't know, it was some purple, it was purple, it was it was weird, man. <laughs> Doing the motherfucking mushrooms, I'm like, this shit ain't for me. You saw some shit or what? I mean, I just, it's, everybody was purple. <laughs> Everybody was purple, and then they had the floor, the uh, fluorescent lights with the, you know, the little posters with yeah. the colors oh. and shit in them. So we sit in the homie room, and we, he like here, and then it was nasty, so I didn't like it for that reason. And never, you know, yeah. and he, he like just chew it, stuck oh, yeah, on it, yeah. And I was like, oh, but then and I start tripping, and I couldn't rap, I couldn't. I couldn't articulate my shit, so I was like, nah. That ain't good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, when it's blocking that. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a tricky thing. You gotta be in the right state of mind for it. Like mushrooms. Like totally embracing and accepting whatever journey it's get, it's putting you through. I mean, <laughs> you, it does you, that. You can't yeah. fight it. Yeah. I was I was on 99th in the war zone. Oh so shit. Ain't, yeah, ain't, there you ain't go. no telling. <laughs> ain't no yeah. What the hell? I was tripping on. That yeah. I mean, you know, depending on your surroundings, you might always be on guard. Right. That's you know what I'm I, saying. I think that's what it was. I was more paranoid than anything. So. Oh, I've been there. I've been there on the mushrooms. That's for sure. <coughs> because, I, got, I got the dabs and a dab a do. All right. Yeah, but dab a do. I mean, you know, because they're gonna ask for it later on in the show anyway. These yeah. motherfuckers, you know, hey, well, can, we, can, we, can we get some flips? Preemptive, preemptive flips, which are good. Yes. You working on anything? Any solo joints? Oh man, I just released the album. Well, actually, since we had the quarantine and all that, man, I, I kind of went to work in a ferocious way. You know what I'm saying? Like I done released two albums already. Well, the f- first one was Annihilation. I, I, I had released that. Then the next one was Wanted Dead or Alive. Um, I just released a brand new record, a duo record with my homeboy HC the Chemist called Eyes on the Prize. Got several videos out there on YouTube. You know what I mean? They can go out there and check out my YouTube channel. It's an f- official Harmony House on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So all my new works is on my new channel. And uh, yeah, the new album, man, I'm, I'm proud of the work I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? So I got my artists, my kids, you know what I'm saying? Like we all, everything I dreamed of doing as far as like making music with my kids and my family and you know, cause it's, it's Harmony House now. My last name is House. Yeah. So, oh, that's you know, dope. Harmony House ENT is that's the tight. company. Still uh, affiliation, the Mo Thug Records is still in effect too. You know what I'm saying? So. I got a lot of things going, man. I'm writing poetry like I've been writing poetry. I've been sitting on a poetry book that I'm thinking about releasing, you know, trying to get into this NFT NFT world as well. 
you know, since scarce, scarcity is the thing, I'm really trying to come with something really, really original, man. I got an idea that that I think gonna really, really pop with this new music we doing. But yeah, check me out. I got new music out there, yeah. man. Like yeah, Google me, oh, you know, Google Bone, Google me. My brother's working as well. Shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? We got all these new tour dates going. We got dates with Be Real, with Cypress. We got dates with uh, with Three Six Mafia, believe it or not. We all hitting the road together. You <laughs> that's know? gonna be good with, right there. With Twister and everybody, so like. Oh, that's like, gonna be amazing. It's like, so we got, we got big plans for this year, man. And also, not really releasing the Bone Thugs and Harmony album, but you know, as far as having songs and singles since you know, since since we in the digital age, we gonna hit them with the singles, just bang, bang, keep hitting them back and back and back, just Drum. giving that core fan base something Dope. and expanding, man. So we out here. Yep. Stop. Staying moving, staying yes, busy. Sir. That's that everything. That versus <clears throat> was classic, B. That shit, right? Yeah, that shit was classic, man. <laughs> Niggas don't like ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a cold line. No, it, it it was all love though, man. It's just like we had. It was so much people talking to me. This is just my opinion. It, it was so much talk, you know, for so long, decades of they don't like y'all and y'all don't like them. Why all the time we getting along with different people when we see them, but it never yeah. came together. Yeah, all that oh, energy right there that brought on stage. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it was bound. Excuse me. It was bound for something to really like happen, but it happened in a way that brought us all the way in like yeah. you know what i'm saying it was hip hop so, man that's hip hop it was it was it was wild i love hip hop for you know but the fact that everybody grew up and everybody matured and there wasn't nobody didn't nobody get hurt you know what i'm saying that says <coughs> a lot about bone 36 and hip hop yeah. we came yeah. a long ass way absolutely uh, yeah you ready for the dab Woo! <laughs> i was i was waiting for the right moment <laughs> <laughs> so now is it I was just like, look, man, it's, it's called gotta, timing. That's good. He's nice. got to take a breath sometime. Now's the time. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, here we go. You ready? Not this one. Not this one. This one's the one you want to hit right here. All right. Like, there you go. Boom. Why isn't it? No, he just asked for one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'll take it. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Sure. <coughs> Hell yeah. <coughs> we got that. So y'all want smoke? <coughs> the other one's for the old man. Excellent. I'll take one of those, you know what I'm saying? Give to me, bro. <coughs> Shit. I was like, the old man hasn't had one in a minute. <laughs> old man had one, I'll take mine now. Yeah, the last time I did a dab, man, yeah, my my head exploded. I was coughing for like half hour. Yeah, I was, I was, I was like, yeah, you gotta respect that. I love this thunder glass, but I actually prefer fucking hitting it with the my actual, you know, the torch and nail, the whole thing. Why is it the hose that gets in the way? No, it's just the fucking right heat, bro. Like I like to fucking really, like you know how he said to describe the sweats. Mm -hmm. Sometimes <laughs> after a fucked up day, I want to have those sweats. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, bro. Sometimes Whoa, you dude. get that strong high with the dab, Fuck torch yeah, and nail. You do. And that shit is like, it's 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 just irreplaceable, bro. Like you just yeah. you have to take it that and you way. You hit a joint after that, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> I was programmed di different, lazy. <laughs> you'll you'll find this. <laughs> it's so he real. Does dabs for breakfast <laughs> anytime? <laughs> I'll spank a twenty fucking flip off that bitch and hit this joint like nothing. <laughs> it's just it, all that being said, we do way too much. Yeah, and you'll go home and well, fight I, the portal. I salute <laughs> you, man. Fighting the portal all fight. the way. <laughs> I'm like, no, nope, no. Nope. You're not gonna <clears throat> get me. You shall not pass. How's that uh, <clears throat> Olympics thing going? Oh, we've all been talking. I mean, we keep in communication on the daily. You know, uh, it's still in the phases of coming up with some of, some of the ideas. You know, what I'm saying. Um, but salute to the bros. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. 
It's like a weed society. Oh, when it gets to teams, let me just tell you, I already know I'm going to have one of the most dominant teams. We we train for this. this weed is what Olympics? We yeah. We, yeah. The, Dab Olympics. Yeah. Dab well, no, Olympics. just weed Olympics, period. Oh, yeah. Dab, smoking, weed, <laughs> so smoking joints, whatever. You got to be versatile with it, bro. You got to be able to, you, you got to be every smoker. It's like the UN of fucking, de- of fucking weed, bro. You got to be the decathlon <laughs> guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Taking on all <coughs> challenges. I'm pretty sure I ain't qualified. See, <laughs> like, yeah. You want you want a beer after that, Deb? Nah, I don't want no beer. I don't want nothing. <laughs> I don't want nothing else. Yeah. So stop offering me stuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh shit, man. I'm good, man. That, that dab would definitely do. I yeah. tell you what though, the, that Bart's barbecue that's gonna be waiting on you after it's gonna uh, help mm-hmm. fucking mm-hmm. sit in, right? It's kind of nice. You gonna have the highest hungry shit. experience. Hey, uh, I want to send a shout out to uh, our sponsors, CBDLine.com. King of the jungle is CBDs. You need CBDs. You need some of these. Why are you coming back to me? What happened? All right, there you go. No, you what'd you split. do? Go straight to the screen over here. You know what I'm saying <laughs> they don't gotta see me. No nap. <laughs> Somebody's getting there socked go. after this. <laughs> All right. Uh, CBDline.com. Check out the menu. They got Delta 8, Delta 9 products. They got CBD gummies, edibles, tinctures, topicals, hemp flower, broad spectrum capsules, isolate products, broad and full spectrum products, CBD bundles, combos, packs, pet tinctures, and treats. And if you like bathing, bath bombs, B, this is the business <laughs> buy them they're the best you can't beat them <laughs> yeah I, that went as far as i could go cbdlive.com <laughs> <I'm still use, waiting. laughs> <Use, laughs> what's the next one use coupon code b real wow and get a get a per, get a <laughs> discount on your purchase <laughs> Fuck me, I'm high. um yeah <laughs> These are some of the best in game, man. Yeah. I need some gummies. Baby. The gummies are good. The tinctures are really good. Topicals, some of the best. Yeah. You fucks with edibles? Yeah, I do. Okay. Like what kind? Uh, mainly gummies, but I, I'm going to try them cookies that I just got, too. <clears throat> you going to try the Mike Tyson gummies, the ears that came out? He just dropped them shits. Yo, this shit. That's yeah, cool. dude. He, yeah, that, he has that's a, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a good. He has a gummy. It's a, it's a replica of an ear, but it has a bite mark <laughs> from his bite. Holy field ear. Yeah, That's so cool. Uh, full I'm glad Perfect. He, I'm glad he can laugh about it after all these years because that was a very bad time when he did that. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean biting off some of his ear. I mean it was holy field ear too. It was fucked up. Took a little nibble. He was like, oh, he was so pissed. I mean, That's like some holy, holy ass shit. for that shit though. Yeah. Oh look at him. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. It's genius. I'd fuck with that. You gonna get those like green thumbs? Yep. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, Mike was saying that that uh, Holyfield was headbutting and throwing elbows at him, yeah. and it frustrated the fuck out of him because you know Holyfield's a big dude in comparison in terms of height, mm-hmm. and uh, he kept doing it. It frustrated mm. the shit out of Mike, and Mike fucking. <laughs> Took a bite out of yeah, crime, he, he son. He was definitely headbutting. I, I remember. I remember that seeing that. I even saw an elbow. Yeah, elbow. Yeah. That Did he good. spit the ear out too? I think after that. <laughs> like, I, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he, <laughs> that was the illest <laughs> shit anybody ever seen on TV. Is it related to or, boxing? That's raw. TV yeah. In that right moment, nobody, out of all the knockouts you ever seen him have, that fucking ear bite was everything. Nobody picked that up. You know what I mean? Because like he had to spit. Yeah, it they out. picked it up. Yeah, somebody picked. It's like, it up. look, man, we got this like one fourth of your. They probably sold that they had, back on. Yeah, they had to put it in an ice bucket so that it didn't. It was you know. premeditated too, because he took his uh, teeth out when they put did, did the replay. He had took his mouth guard out. Mm. So he was doing. Uh, uh, he uh, uh, went uh, in and uh, oh, there you go. Uh, 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 barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> She's like fucking. Uh, let me get like, some grilled. When here. you eat the piece of meat from Menudo, <laughs> get, get, <laughs> do you hear me, yo? Uh, I told you stop. <laughs> stop head button. Mike was going through something, man. He was. God, he was. Damn, man, he was. He, it's gonna be all right though. At least he in a good place, like you said. Yeah, yeah, he's in a great place now, man. He so. takes mushrooms, bro. He microdoses. He, I mean, you know what? I mean, mushrooms make you want to like play with nature and shit. That food like has pigeons. And it makes shit. you happy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does. when you don't do too much, 
Mm. Uh, you, uh, and and you do just that that it's cause enough. Some, it's some, good for some. That's, why, that, that's why they're using that shit for depression. And, well, it's because some, some drugs let you know, man. Like <clears throat> you know, what I mean, you, like you may not know when to call it quits, but the substance that whatever you choose to play with, or whatever candy suits you, is gonna let you know when you had enough. Whether you're doing fucking man-made shit or your shit from the ground, you know what yeah, I mean? Like it. I. Yeah, fucking deep palm fucking Yo, mushroom right there. He's bananas. ready to go. Like mushrooms will let. <laughs> like Mike embraces the shrooms like no one else. I know, bro. like the Paul's podcast or whatever. He put four grams of mushrooms in his <laughs> hand and he's like, "I'm just gonna eat these right before the show." Yeah, Tyson's a beast, man. Mushrooms ain't shit to him. Baby. No, not anymore. Compared he's got to the tolerance. shit he's used to do. <laughs> well, he's got a. You got to build a tolerance for that. Remember that cocaine picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. I have like five shirts that I don't even wear with that picture on it. I mean, damn. I wonder if he you was know. smoking weed as much. He wasn't smoking as much weed back then, right? He no, was... he was smoking weed. It's just he was doing all that other shit. Is it that it, it would have been better if he was just smoking the weed. There yeah. Is. He said he was. Oh. De- he said he was never more focused when he just was smoking the weed. Possessed. Damn, that's just like uh, he is. That's a whole different dude. <clears throat> when he was off the rails. That's a very no focused ass look, bro. I've had that look many times. Yes, I know. I know that look. We've seen it. <laughs> yeah. I've seen right? it many times. It's I been a minute, know. but you know. That nigga had the world on his show. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> Man. He did. Yeah. I mean Literally. fuck. You think he's ever socked somebody? Like out of like, you know what I mean? Like some like just to be like, hey man, you asked for it. That's there was one guy he did that to. <laughs> it was a it was another fighter named Mitch Green. He kept mm-hmm. taunting him and like, you know, follow following him places oh. and like talking shit to him. And finally, fucking Mike gave him one. Oh, he was, lumped his whole fucking eye up. He was doing the break thing. When we you know how he how he like he got no, he went viral for going to somebody. Shannon Cannon Briggs, just talking. Ah, uh, he kind of looked. This is what Mike did to his eye right there. Damn. 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 Closed it up for him. Oh, your mouth won't shut, but I'm gonna close that eye for you real quick. Oh. He caught him in the street, right? This yeah, he caught him in the street. Oh, yeah. He definitely, he's like at a club, at slick Rick at patch. Bar, yeah. This guy was mouthing up, and Mike gave him one, and this is the result of that. That it, when they actually got in the ring, because this guy's a, a, a boxer, mm-hmm. um, he pretty much ran from Mike the whole time because mm-hmm. he knew that <laughs> that dude was gonna break his face. Damn. That's pretty w- crazy, and he, you know, he felt like he won because he he went twelve rounds with Mike, but you didn't really go twelve rounds with Mike. You sort of ran away from him. I mean, Look at how angry he looks, dude. Dude, Mitch I mean, Green, I think was his name. It was like a just, yeah. just super angry that nigga. Mike was a pit bull. Mm-hmm. When he was focused, off the leash, Brooklyn. When he was focused, you were out of here, man. Yo, imagine. Damn, I don't want to imagine. Get Would you get socked by him for a certain amount of money? No, yo, yo Tyson. Like how much? No. Tyson used to be a stick up kid. Bro, look, he's imagine he come to you like, yo, you giving him whatever. He's like, yeah, take that. run it, <laughs> run it, run all everything. What if, run it, B. What if you wear one of those padding things? You still wouldn't get socked? Nah, man. No. Like, you know those, like, things that the, the trainer wears? Would you? That's power I, I don't. I mean, it depends, bro. Like, it's, it's like, yo, male, male, he gets to sock you. No, like, with no, all his might, no. but you get to wear that boxer thing? No, I would no. wear that boxer thing. No, dude. You're going no, you to be laid out. I mean, it's going to hurt, but, like, you know, you could, go, you could pay to go to the doctor. He'll heal. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, bro. Right, you're always going to know what that. ribs and shit. Yeah, yeah, you're always going to know what that power feels like. And I just don't think he would. it would be that much hate behind it if it's, like, a contest. Like, it's not like I fucking talk shit about it. It's, like, you know, somebody else and, like, a fighter, like, taunted him. But what if he wanted to use it as just to, oh, I'm going to let it out right like, now. To everything prove himself? In- like, he's like, yeah, this is what I've been holding back. Be yeah. Real to make it happen. <laughs> I mean. You know what? Because when I took a selfie with him, bro, he's like, you know, like, have you ever been fishing and you catch like a very strong fish and you're like, oh, I didn't know this shit was that strong. Because right. it's like a muscle the whole way. Yeah. Like, bro, like, that's, like he's all muscle, bro. Like, Dude. his shoulders are hard. Yeah, he got yeah, himself. Like, yeah, he's- he got himself back in shape, too. Shit. <sighs> Nah, you don't want that. I don't want to feel that power, bro. You don't want that. I mean, with the suit, you better be getting two million dollars for that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> with, with the suit, be real. Damn, that's thirty See, years of steel. crushing your <laughs> and your steel muscles. You're at risk of him crushing your ins. Like just yeah. re- well, you that. know, with one of those 
big fucking pads that they wear. Yeah, these like days. The, he might be okay. He'll maybe. still feel it, but it's not gonna break his rib. Your stomach's gonna get bruised, or for maybe sure. it will. Who knows? Yo, look at Steve O. He just ran into Tyson's face, and his face yeah, oh, rolled his, up. I think his his uh, his jaw broke from that. Exactly. But you know who? who yeah, but that was without Mike yeah. even fucking throwing a punch. That's, That's my like point. You yeah. standing there. If 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 I stand Imagine. there, yeah. if if I'm standing here with my fist like this, and you run into it, you're gonna fuck. It's the yeah. same shit. Cairo just jumps. If he, Mike had thrown all his weight into that, psh, he don't wake up that kid. The butterbean but thing Mike, that was more Mike, of a the Mike Tyson and the Roy Jones fight, right? Oh yeah, that was Roy's tactic was to run, and he even said it. He was like, "You don't want to get hit by Mike." No, you know nobody. What I'm <laughs> so he, he was on the move the whole time. You know what I mean? Yeah. He couldn't pay me. That Lennox, pay Lennox me. fight was crazy. Don't they have a measuring thing? You know how like a cop has like the fucking gun to measure the speed? Don't they have one of those things? Like, what's his latest? Like, when's the last time he socked one of those things? That that would be crazy if they had that that um that sort of shit in the glove, prog programmed in the glove, like oh. how hard you hit the motherfucker right there so that people can get that percentage. Elon man, is about to steal this man, idea, he bought, bro. He bought 55 or some yep. shit doing that, man. Damn. Damn. Still hit you. We can't yeah. say shit like that, bro. Elon's going to steal it. He's going to tweet. Yep. He's going to be like, yo, I found this out. Knowing his ass smoke weed, listening to the show, somebody tagged him, one of his Tesla bots. And dude, like, I'm not trying <laughs> to have that dude hit me in any way, shape, or form right now. No. For a million dollars. Uh, that's that. a million dollars. A million no, dollars. I, I might go for it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, bro. A million dollars. That's like that, that's life changing shit, bro. You could get a whole new stomach. That All right, hit could, so that like, hit could be life changing. With his fist, without a glove on it, you'd be done. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh damn! You got you got to make sure that when you make this oh. deal, he's got a glove yeah. on. He got that's the, what I'm the saying. Big, like, big, big, right, big. He gonna gloves. give you a million dollars, <laughs> hit you in your motherfucking ribs, and then you are gonna be shitting out a bag for the rest <laughs> of your life. Yeah. See. Exactly. Yeah, it colon, ain't, the it colon ain't thing. Worth. Break that spleen, son. Nah, son. I think it, mm -hmm. come on, man. It, it, it can't. Worth. Getting kicked by a kangaroo or getting punched in the stomach by Mike Tyson with the Fuck. padding. Oh, nah. It's probably about the same strength, bro. Kangaroo got claws, B. No, a, can, a, a, a kick from kick a kangaroo to your stomach could fucking implode your intestines. I've yeah. looked this shit up. Yeah. It's very dangerous. You know what I mean? But, like, that's what it I'm saying. It could cave in your intestines. Yeah, it could, yeah. Ca it could cave in, and then your shit will start imploding. Uh -uh. I'm good, B. I'm just saying, Mike Tyson probably had the same force. I just rather yeah. think that Mike Tyson hit. <laughs> I would think you like so. to play with your life for money. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm not saying I would do it, but hypothetically, it's kind of you know, it's like bar talk, bro. You'd be like, yo, what would you do? <laughs> Anything <laughs> that involves the crushing of the insides, I'm totally cool on. Uh, like no need. So you know, I don't need this. Uh, yeah, it's not like you know, it doesn't really add to to the. He didn't want to hit Steve. I don't want to get hit by Mike. I don't want to get fucking gouged by a fucking <laughs> kangaroo. I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? That's just something. I don't. Damn, look, this jail kangaroo. Look at he's fucking oh. buffed out, too. Oh. Dude. Uh, that fool's done time. If Shit. you get caught by that motherfucker, yeah, you don't want to get caught out there, He is going to beat your ass. Just 100%. Like, look, he wants it, man. He's Come like, get some. Oh. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> how, much, how much you will how much like, kisses, bring your bitch ass in here with me bitch can't even oh, dead look. that was like randy savage mode <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got you yeah. three minutes <laughs> yeah he's going in yeah i'm too high for that mm. <laughs> <laughs> i did i know i've been working out for real <laughs> yeah no nah, yeah that's very that. dangerous <laughs> the motherfuckers is pumped up with some shit, right? No, nah, that's like natural. No, they that get hormones, big like bro. this. Yeah, they do. Look at this yeah, guy. Look at that. Look at that. That's just hard work. <laughs> Michael Clark Duncan of kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was huge. Dude. He is. Oh, fuck, he was, bro. yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, damn. I, I forgot he had died. <laughs> you all right, C? What do you mean? Exactly. What do you mean? Not, not. Gor gorillas don't look that buff though. Oh come on, dude! But they're that. They're I'm not saying they're not strong, but I'm saying like a, like you could see the kangaroo's muscle. Like that fool has. He's oh, he's like Luffy. Yeah, a fucking 
But a when gorilla, you he can't flex. Gorillas will beat the shit out of. I've never seen a gorilla son. like flex and be like, "Yeah, check this out." Bitch. They don't do. They uh, beat their uh, chest, rip, son. Uh, yeah, rip yeah. it in half, dude. Yeah. You don't want. Yeah. What do you think will win, a baby gorilla or a kangaroo? Like what do you mean? Why is it baby gorilla? They're both like, a, or at least a don't buff. sleep on the kangaroo. That's all I'm. Saying. Yeah, that fool's buff, dog. He could fucking that nigga kick the shit out. If of If he went and grab, <laughs> if he got a hold of like, he could break, you know, the gorilla's neck just off sheer strength. Yeah, because remember he he had that dog on a on a in a headlock. It's got to be a baby though, because a full grown one. Ain't nobody fucking with that. In the <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody yeah, yeah. in the jungle. He's yeah. tripping. Yeah, ain't he. Nobody fucking with that in the jungle, man. He'll fuck that kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, up. he would fuck. He would catch that kangaroo slipping so quick. Only Ca- thing that catch him by the tail. Is a lion. Wow. <laughs> nah, a lion can't. He could probably fuck that lion up. Bro. He could break the lion's like hip, bro. Like it has to be something that could stand in like. Well, like he's got to make sure he doesn't get bitten somewhere ripped. fucking serious, so you don't get ripped up. Mm-hmm. He's got to like square up. Like it's got to be. Like, a Against the primate, dude. Who this is my shit. Right, <laughs> Do you see how fast they run. If Peter didn't quick? exist, bro, in, in another alternative universe, there's gorilla UFC. It's way better than regular UFC. No, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. Here we like, go. What I'm just saying in the alternative universe, there's probably gorilla UFC, and there's not even humans. Are all like, we're not gonna sacrifice ourselves. Just put these animals in there. You could train them. <laughs> you think you could train one of those animals, dude? <laughs> Be, you yeah, can't no. train a gorilla. Be. You yeah, cannot train. No. Yeah, well, you could teach gorillas certain yeah, things, yeah. but like, but you'll never know what the motherfuckers think. They'll, about yeah. they'll yeah. flip on, <laughs> just flip on your ass, like nah, yeah, they will dude. flip on you. <laughs> like the white tiger in Vegas, that fool ate the shit out that fool. He didn't eat him, but he fucking yeah, ate the shit out of him. Up. Yeah, he's like, this is enough. I feel horrible when my cat just fucking goes in my hand. He's like, I'm tired of you. <laughs> I'm like, imagine if a tiger had a pet tiger. Tiger. Fucking cat's like, fuck off me. Yeah, fuck out of here. Out of here. Yeah. Unpredictable, B. Yeah. I mean, imagine. If you could have a bear in the circus, you could have a, a gorilla, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Gorillas and bears could hang around the same thing. You know, a, a gorilla. I want, I want to agree. What? No, the bro. You want to agree? I want to agree. But you're not going to. <laughs> but I, like, I want to agree. <laughs> I want to agree, man. I really want to agree. You can domesticate the wild, bro. It's, no. Yes, you can. I'm There's bro. some shit that you see. can't, though. I, there's always going to have there's that some w- shit that you can't, dude. I you like, to tell me you, <clears throat> you have to have that I would that def- animal from birth, like if and it, train it all your life, and you're the one feeding it. That's the only way. You got to remember. The, I would love to see somebody domesticate a gorilla. Like if if try they, it. <laughs> try right it. The, yeah. the attempt of it is everything. Yeah, no. <laughs> one, it's against the <laughs> yeah, law. Look at there. Look. Oh, right there. Undomesticated, Look at there. dude. There goes your gorilla. Oh, you. Oh, no, oh, oh. He <laughs> hit you with one of those. It's over. It's over. See, uh, Bing. Ooh. But let's just say you had him, like his mom gave birth, she died or something, and then you're like, well, I'm going to take this monkey real quick Man. and raise it myself. <laughs> you ain't I, raising one of these. It just ain't happening. Look at that. <laughs> that hey, he, he, put, he put a nice little combo pack on him right Pow. there. You saw it? Put some boxing gloves on him. No, nah, they don't need gloves, they bro. They could take those hits, bro. Hey, cause the, a, and a regular person wouldn't for, take those hits. At all. You <laughs> at forget all. to feed him one day, he's going to fuck you up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. You didn't give me no bananas out today, bro. <laughs> give you a quick three-piece. Pop, pop, pop. You ain't pop. Finna tell Knock me. you out. You ain't finna tell that gorilla what to do. Right. <laughs> I mean, you got to treat him with respect. I'm just not going to treat him like, hey, man, go, go go get this for me. You know what I'm saying? I would imagine <laughs> that the, 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 the caretakers to those, those gorillas right there... They ain't stepping in there unless they tranquilize those fucking. Nah, they gorillas. do, man. I've seen them feeding at the LA Zoo. You're fucking tripping. I've I've seen it, dude. I'm a VIP member there, and I've they seen gotta them go be feed fucking them. some co- somehow sedated, bro. Is it they like- walk in there with the fucking little bucket. The gorillas are like far away. I ain't never seen them close, and they just dump it in the bowl, and that's it. Like the gorilla fucking knows. Like at first they walk in there, like when a cop points a gun at you, like we're cool, we're cool. You know what I mean? Like they walk in there, like yo, just, it's me. And if the gorilla does something defensive, the motherfucker's like, I'm going to come back in like 20 minutes. You know what? I don't think you understand how strong <laughs> these yeah. motherfuckers yeah. are. Dude, we've been real. trying to tell him. You're no, hey, talking listen, about you know if superpower. If, if they've been in captivity for a long time and they know you're the one that feeds them, yeah, they're going to give you that little space. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Could, at the zoo. But they could snap you. And they know that. Like, I, let's just say you were late to feed them. And they're like not feeling that. Not yeah. no, <laughs> they know, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. The people know. Like if you walk in there and you're like, "Yo, it's me. I got the bucket of food," and the motherfucker beats his chest, 
they know like, all right, he's mad right now. I'm gonna come back in 20 minutes because if he snaps, <laughs> he's gonna fucking kill me. And those people know, bro. I, I like talked to one of them when they <laughs> one came of them out. Escapes and fucking <laughs> goes on a rampage, son. Elvis, the average silverback gorilla strip is equivalent to 20 adult human beings. <laughs> Yep, so that's Jeez. 20 of you E zone trying it's to hold that fucking guy down. 1,796 pounds. Damn, that's what they can so throw. And they'll tear off your nuts real like, quick. That's how dangerous he is. Eat he just thumped you. Boom, you fucked. Dude, yeah, you if, could, he went, if he if flicked, he flicked you. you, dude. Yeah, but that's not. I'm not saying he's got to be violent all the time, bro. Like, sharks don't always attack somebody <laughs> in the water. They're, you know what I'm saying? They're like the gorillas nah, of the but, water. But those ones are, you know, they're, they're territorial. <laughs> he said gorillas. You thinking, well, about, you thinking about monkeys? Yeah. I'm just saying, bro. Like it's like a shark doesn't always attack a human if it's it's only if it's like hungry or something. Well, yeah, same for gorillas too. They don't well, really attack drink? humans. A, a baboon? Nah, I ain't fucking with those. They eat meat. A gorilla's not gonna eat me after he kills me. He's just gonna snap. Yeah, he's just, gonna you, be, he's just gonna stare and be like, "That's what happens." Why do you care what happens? <laughs> you? He, said, he said he ain't gonna eat me after I'm wow. dead. What does You're, it matter to you? My, yeah, why does it matter? Because the baboon <laughs> eats meat, bro. He fucking will start like you know. I want to be have. A, I want to have an open fucking casket, bro. I don't want to fucking be. Fl- when hey, the gorilla kills you, obviously, you, you want to have just, open, just your head. He wants a, he wants <laughs> an open <laughs> casket if, when the gorilla kills him. All right. If you oh. get killed by this, this <laughs> monkey, obviously you're not in a place that's gonna be for like open casket. And he, what better way to nourish the, you know, say Steve Irwin had an open casket, bro. <coughs> he didn't get killed by a gorilla. <coughs> yeah, he got killed by like some variation of a, it of was a, a dangerous stingray. animal it was in the it water. Was a stingray. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just saying, it, he could, it could have been a gorilla if he was on land. You but know. it wasn't. What? what? That How you fuckers is crazy. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> all over. Hey, hey, he's made it interesting today. That's yeah. I'll say that. I'll give me that. I watched a lot of fucking National Geographic this weekend. Yeah, it hell seems yeah. Like it. Hey, that shit is rad. <laughs> And did they tell you anything that you're saying? I don't think the the, the concept of my ideas crosses those people that are. Uh, <laughs> so like, they, I, I, like I feel if they if one of those people were to watch this show, they would they they would be like like dude, we've done this for 20 years. We've never once fucking thought about socking one of these foods. <laughs> like, yeah, no, and they shouldn't. Right. But you do. Because I'm, I'm never gonna go to the fucking Amazons, bro. Like that's you know true. See, snakes? that's the thing. At least yeah. he's real about Fuck that. No, right? Somebody like, tells me I'll, I'll be more likely to, to to go to space, so I could be like, look, Stephone, it's round. Then fucking go to the Amazons, bro. <laughs> fucking bugs will kill me. I'm good. I don't like that fucking yeah. You can't be killed by a bug bite out there's there. There's not enough raid I could take in the fucking jungle, bro. No, you know, there's just certain places I don't think I'm ever just like supposed to go to, and I think the Amazon is one of them. You gotta know how to recognize, bro. Like every animal knows, like I mean, what not to fuck with, bro. You gotta like, get ten shots before you go into the fucking Amazon. Ecuador yeah. got like twenty four mos- diseases. Mosquito will kill you. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You gotta get malaria <laughs> shots. You gotta get all this. I mean, there's just there's all kinds of shit that could kill you. Well, that it's... nature shit showed me. I was like, bro, how the fuck is this fucking wasp gonna kill this tarantula? Well, that motherfucker paralyzes you. I'm like, if I was smaller, like a midget size, imagine I'd probably be like half paralyzed from a bug bite. I'm good. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm not going to Florida wetlands. I'm good. I like staying to the... Yeah, just you know, stay yeah. out of the Amazon, bro. You're good. <clears throat> fuck the ocean. Fuck the crazy nature. Yeah, you're a land guy. I like, yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking rooting for humanity, dog. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, that's the hill you're willing to die on. Fuck it. The one on land. The one on land, yeah. <laughs> Unless you're bringing back dinosaurs, I'm good. You, you, see? You want to get eaten by a dinosaur. I don't want to get eaten, but I want to see one if I have a chance. <laughs> I'm not gonna go out there. Everything else, I can see it at the zoo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I, like I said, I want. <laughs> I want to agree. <coughs> I want to agree with you so I, bad. I but, want to agree with you so bad, but. but. <laughs> you know, if if there was a big earthquake in fucking California, we're all fucked. The yeah. zoo, the zoo, all, you, all those animals, they're all coming yeah. out. Yep. Yeah, like I ain't going Bring hiking it. that week. Jumanji. You're not going hiking that week. Nah, bro. That Let's shit. Let's go. Is, like all them motherfuckers uh, are getting out. Oh, they'll they'll have motherfuckers on them quick. They're gonna yeah, start you know, fuck. No, they're gonna start fucking. A- animals start creating in, a, shit. In, a, in a case of an emergency, animals are smarter than humans. They'll know where to fucking go. So I'll be following them motherfuckers <laughs> for real. They'll know where to fucking go. Yeah, because they yeah. that's that's their, their shit. Yeah, but the thing is, is that like all those are you know have been in captivity for so long yeah. they're, they're used to getting fed mm-hmm. as opposed to finding food on their own yeah they still go run i'll be feeling bad but eventually yeah, that natural instinct kicks in one of them lions fucking gets hungry sees somebody's dog or fucking oh. something 
Dude, all them eagles that are fucking kept there, all them fucking exotic birds, the shit falls over, them birds are all like, bro, we don't, we know one thing, it's, cool, it's to fly. They go for the little bit gone. For the hills. Yeah. <laughs> There's like so much shit there that like that shit could just fuck up everything if like everything were to go down. Yeah. It's just fucked up because all the young ones, right, that have been in captivity the whole time, they don't know. They don't know the wild for real. Yeah, at all. Like if you sent them into the wild, they would probably die. Yeah, yeah, they would, that's why they catch all of them. They Unless fucking, they're like a they, fucking... They like, fucking find them, you know, sedate them, bring them back. Yeah, they, Unless, their survival skills aren't even up to par if yeah, they've been no. born they're in kept, captivity. They're kept, they're kept <clears throat> animals that were taken out of the wild. And, elephant so, and some damage. were born in captivity. Yeah. 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 Truly sad. Yeah. Elephant will still fuck shit up, bro. That's true. That. He'll start. No- <laughs> Hell yeah. That's one of the strongest dudes. And smartest. You, you release that elephant on skid roll. You ever seen an Jumanji. elephant stomp something out? It's yeah. crazy. When they've had enough shit. Yeah, they're done. When elephants have had enough. Oh man. They fuck Remember that show? I seen I seen an elephant sock the shit out of a fucking some some woman and shit. <laughs> yeah. For real. <laughs> With what? The With trunk? The trunk. Like pop. Slap the shit. Like, Sock the shit. She flew and shit. For real. <laughs> Remember that when Animals Attack show? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah that was, I watched that show a lot. Yeah. So you can't be around <laughs> somebody else's animal. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just don't do it. I remember when we were doing uh, Smoking Grooves. We were we were doing it when Wyclef was doing uh, the, I think it was the Fuji All-Stars or some shit like this. Cannabis was on this tour. And he was bringing out this white fucking lion, or yeah, yeah, it was a white lion. Wow! And they had that shit sedated the whole time because they could not take a chance on letting this lion just be walking around like yeah. fully aware with all this food around, mm. meaning us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the lion's gonna make food of any individual if he's hungry enough. And yeah, they. They rolled this fucking lion onto the stage while he was rapping. He was sitting there with the lion, and it, they had to give it, I don't know what, how much tranquilizer to get him to just be chill, they had to, to be ketamine. awake, but that he can't really move around. They give him ketamine, dude. That's 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 hey, hole. yeah. That's no. I mean, it hits animals differently. Their their receptors are way different, so it's not gonna hit me like I did on my birthday. Right. Like the animal's not gonna have a spiritual epiphany. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's it's gonna be sleep. <laughs> He's gonna be fucked up, but yeah. not spiritual. He's gonna be like, yeah, this uh, feels good. Right? Yeah, he's just gonna <laughs> knock the fuck out. But yeah, they shoot him up with ketamine. Yeah. Oh wow. For real, cat tranquilizer. Oh yeah, he was trank the whole time. Otherwise, he would have ate fucking cannabis right there. He was like within. Snatching range. I did a photo shoot with a lion before, man. That was the scariest shit. I bet it was. Uh, fuck, man. Bone thugs. We did. It was rough clothing or something back in like '97. They had a good idea to take us to the top of this roof on downtown LA, and they symbol was a lion. So shh. we had the 357 on us, nigga. It was scary as fuck. Like. It's a picture somewhere out there, but it was rough clothing. <laughs> the lion head was bigger than my body, man. And I had to sit next. I had to stand next to it. Oh man! Like yeah. You know they had to have, have that shit tranquilized too. I there was, it goes right there. Yeah. Ooh, that lion right there, man. I shit scared. The shit. Whew. Uh, Damn. And, hey, and we couldn't jump. My nigga Boogie Knight had a three fifty seven. I'm like pop. <laughs> I'm like, you better pop this motherfucker. <laughs> Move, man. Like, shit. Like, nigga, we, look how I be looking at that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then Wishbone was holding the choke chain on the motherfucker, and the motherfucker got up. I said, ooh. <laughs> and I'm down, like, squatting and shit. And that yeah. motherfucker, like, arr, arr, look at a nigga and shit. And, that's Lay the shit, down. man. I'm like, what the fuck? You, you don't know what's going through this animal's head, B. That's the shit, B. This I motherfucker could we... just turn around and jump at your face. I can't believe we did that shit. Hey, y'all did it, though. That shit's scary as a motherfucker. I man. bet it was. I mean, that's a real motherfucking lion right there. That's they not... like, just be natural. Like, motherfucker, how? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you be natural in front of this shit. big-ass lion? That could yeah, y'all motherfuckers look like y'all stiff and shit, like, not oh, trying yeah. to move. Like... <laughs> Don't make any sudden moves so this motherfucker don't flip. 
But they definitely had him sedated because you could even see it in his eyes. He's like, yeah. yeah. CBD. Ah. Yeah, he was chilling. He had CBD <laughs> lie. He had his candy. <laughs> yeah, he had his, he had his he had shit. <laughs> Rough clothing. He was like being slower. Yeah. So, He's like, oh, fuck your mother. <laughs> Word up. You know what time it is. <clears throat> That fucking time. What's the time? Time, time for some time for submissions. 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 How's it going? We got a bunch of submissions in today. Right now, we got Alexander sending in some plates of food. (laughs) This is the part of the show where everyone sends us plates of delicious food they've prepared or are about to enjoy themselves. Because by now, we're high. Yeah. And most likely hungry. (laughs) So they tease. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happens? Oh, look at them tomatoes. They look good. Mm. Ooh, what is that? (sighs) Some sort of BLT. Oh, Mag. Ooh, mac and cheese right there, or scalp potatoes. Cheese. No, that's mac and cheese. That's mac. Ooh. That's mac, Jack. Wee. Uh oh. Oh, some chicken. Mm. Mm. Man, he ain't playing today. Man, that's right there. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, with the mac and cheese. Yeah. He says, I'm going to make it funky oh. for you. He's going to make it real funky for you. Ooh, a little salad right there. Is that what that is? Chicken salad? Yep. yep. Ooh, this ain't fair. Asparagus. Uh, it's not fair. See? Oh, I like the burger with the only one piece of bread. One pe- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Mm. It is good. Ooh, and that's bastards. the last one. Mm, that chicken. One guy did all like, this, huh? Is it? Thanks. Looks like fish, no? Seems like it. Fish? Is it? But I don't think so. No, nah, I uh, think it's chicken. Chicken. Okay. chicken. Shout out to Alexander. Yeah, Alexander, yeah, good Alex, job, man. Thanks, bro. <clears throat> Instantly made me hungry as fuck. Yeah. Oh, there's stuff to satisfy oh, that hunger. Oh, I already know. I, we mentioned that at the top of the show, so. Yeah. Ha ha, motherfucker. It is like the Jenga barbecue in the kitchen. Oh, oh boy, sure. Jenga. Dustin. All right, I am mad at that. And we had a bro big moose up in the Discord the other day, and he sent in some pictures of him fishing. All right. Bro, Big Moose from the M I S S I S S I P P I, and he's doing some jujitsu. Oh shit! All right, Moose, right on, bro. Get that shit, bro. If I need you to choke somebody out, I'll let you know. Yeah, we got. Yeah, man. Who you got in mind? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Bolton Blom Bolton. <laughs> and we got Chalico up in here saying my after workout meal, and that's why I can't get rid of these damn man boobs. Ooh, your after workout that's meal. Protein huh? though. What's wrong with that? You've been that's having too much beta. of it. It's it's yeah. what you eat after, because that seems to be pretty like protein heavy right there. You can't have this every day. It's you know what I'm high, it, yeah, it's high, it's super high in the calories. Yeah. Chalco sent this in, some steak, red onion, yellow, orange, and red peppers, fries, rice, topped with cilantro. I'll take that, too. It's pretty good, too. That's good for, like, once a week for sure. The rice is amazing. I love rice. Huge fan here. And Chalco sent this in. What do you guys think this is? <clears throat> Saw it in the sky. Cam trail. Sky Daddy. <laughs> sky Daddy on his way. Well, it's an object, but like usually it, those type of objects that we call objects that no one really sees that often. That are unidentified. Don't leave streaks. Those Normally. Are, those are exper- chemtrails? experiments. Yeah. What the fuck is this doing? <laughs> the chemtrails, bro. The chemtrails, they don't leave them. We got germism up in here saying, check out this Puerto Rican style 18 hour oh. cooked pulled pork. Mm. Wow. Oh, God. man. Flavors were crazy good. You guys are absolutely fucked up today, man. <laughs> I just want to say that. 
That's my shit, bro. Look, look at that. Oh, my God. If it wasn't for Dustin was here, man, I'd be angry at y'all today for this shit. Man. Because <laughs> it's so good. It looks, that looks fucking amazing. It sure does. Hey, man, as, as much as I hear people, yo, pork ain't good for you and this and that, Muslims and all that, like, I still have got to fuck with some pulled pork once in a while. Absolutely. Now Does, and then, not like all the yeah, time. Yeah, not, you can't f- every day. I told him. No. But it is delicious when done the right For way. Sure. <laughs> and we got Ginger Ninja up in here saying chicken and broccoli stuffed shells and salad. Ooh. Okay. See, this is right. That's my, like, favorite right here. Is that pasta? But yeah. shells, yeah. 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 Stuff shells with chicken. They fucking stuff it, yo. Ooh, that look at that. Look delicious. Nice. Yeah, it's delicious. Ooh, with the veggies. There's nothing wrong with any part of this shit right here, son. Just tomatoes and lettuce too. For the Only time. that we ain't having it. That's the wrong part. Yeah, yeah. You I bet you, Caddy Blaze knows how to cook that. Yeah, he does. Hell yeah. Half of this shit. He's up his alley. He's an amazing cook. He's like, are you kidding me? I'm fucking cooking this shit right now. All right now, fuck out of here. Yeah. Fuck yeah. out of here. Cali Blaze is amazing. And we got Ginger Ninja up in here saying laptop sticker collection's coming along nicely, but yeah. I'm running out of room. I need a Cypress sticker. Right, you do. No doubt about it. Ginger Ninja, what up? And next up in here, we got Hebe GB saying no boof allowed. Yeah! He's got the nice. DNA tip. Super Chief. Smoke. I think that's a high and hungry tip back there, too. Yeah, and a candle. You need yeah. it. Nobody claimed the fucking the heady on the Halloween one, bro. You might have it. He be GB burned that candle. It's like a five hundred dollar pendant inside one of those. Oh boy. Yeah, he is burning it. Look at no, that. it's it's still pretty full. Oh yeah, I mean, but it's saving it. He's going slow. He's savoring it, dog. Yeah. He ain't just I'm burning just saying, it. Man, he might have that fucking golden ticket. But he's enjoying the candle, bro. Yeah, bro. You're the guy that'll buy that shit and burn it in a day, not that, even really enjoy it. You just want to get to the, the bottom. That's how I got the contract. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're like, you keep buying for a week. How how would you like to have your own? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's do it. I hope you get some of that money back. Yeah, man. Oh, I have 14 cents. This is beyond that. Yeah, no, I said <laughs> 14. That's good. 14, brah. And we got Ivy up in here sh- saying she's smoking on some Gary Payton. Mm. That's good. Some Payton. Yeah, that shit is really good. It looks beautiful. Smokes even better. Your paint is a good strain. A good one. Payton. Payton. <laughs> and we got Javi G up in here saying, just got my 30th anniversary vinyl. Shout out yeah. to the world's best show. Word yeah. up. Thank you very much. That was got a mean old brocha. Well done. He's got to maintain brocha, bro. That's that was cool. a hard ass mustache. Like you fucking. I, I think that's the red. Uh, there's a red smoke vinyl variation uh, of this pressing, where there's a red vinyl and there's smoke in the red. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, we try. Super sick. We got uh, Joe up in here saying he's trying to roll up a cannon. Oh shit! Look at that. Trying is where you failed. Oh. You got to just do. Yep. And it looks like you did it right here. But you'll get better at it. True that. And it'll look better, and you'll feel better. But guess what? All that being said, that's going to smoke like it's a 10. And you're going to enjoy that smokes, weed in right. there with that funky feel tip. It may not look pretty, mm-hmm. but it's mm-hmm. going to make you feel all right. Looks like the uh, Cosmos. Is that what it is? Could be. Uh, yeah. Are you a good roller? Oh yeah, I can roll. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm a fucked up roller. <laughs> yeah, but you've been getting better though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You gotta I mean, take your time over time. Yeah, you, you're you in a it. rush, you're gonna roll some bullshit. Yeah, I mean, take your time. The more you do it, the better you get. And yeah. plus, being around here, man, you kind of have no choice to do it. We go through a boot camp of sorts. Yep. And we will roast a Yo. motherfucker real no. quick. You don't want to be. <laughs> you don't want to be on the end, the receiving end of that roast. It's not a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Aton. Ask Aton. <laughs> Cold as ice. The guy. best roller in here gets it the worst. Oh. About that. It's backwards as fuck. Damn, ain't that the truth? 
<laughs> Next. And we got Yubi up in here saying how Central Canadians play outdoor ball as of last night. All eh? right. Wow. As of last night. Eh? Uh, I had a friend who left Canada last night, and he was like, bye. <laughs> and at the airport, he was like, I'm out of here. And you be saying this is what the windows oh. look like? Oh. See, toothpaste. That's, that, that's the reason I, I'm out here. That's cold, man. <laughs> Here's you be smoking a joint outside. I mean, Dude, why you got to smoke outside? B- because maybe he's not in a situation he could smoke inside. Yeah, they bro. Should, they should just I be like, look, man, inside. nobody should deserve to do anything outside right now. Mm. Yeah, maybe yeah. he likes it. Yeah. Yeah, he's saying we cold and we tough up here. Damn. Damn. Snorkel. Mm. They are in the north. Ain't that the truth? And we got Luis Lamb up in here saying smoking on some phantom cookies out of my favorite brand of papers, Tree Huggers. All right. Oh, right on. Three hemp cones. I wonder what the papers are like. 100%, Brown. bro. Oh, man. They look like, you saying they look like blunts? No, they're brown, like, you know, like a dark tint of rice. Oh, right. Oh, like, like oh, not rice. Like an unbleached. Like, yeah, like an hemp? unbleached, but it's not rice, though. All right. I feel you. And we got Mike Phillips Lakewood up in here sending this in. A little meme. Turtles hate straw so much, then explain this. E zone. <laughs> I never oh. had a problem. I never stopped using straws. <laughs> so I mean, I'm, you know, I don't know. I never <laughs> fucking rallied for the turtles. The, or the, them? Ocean, the ocean is big enough for you know, for them be for there to be some trash in there, all right? That's yeah. Well, yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah, we, we got to clean that shit up. And I'm like, that shit is vast, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? man. It's not that vast. I mean, it's it's a big mass. But when you think about the generations of motherfuckers that have just fucking dumped waste in there, what? it's going to add up. How big is that island of plastic that's in the ocean? It's pretty fucking enormous. It's, I mean, it, they're calling it a, an island. An island of fucking plastic that's just melted together from the sun and just people littering in the fucking ocean it just all came together and it's like this huge ass fucking island of plastic like yeah it's the, crazy like the skid row of the ocean it's uh it's twice the size of texas oh! three times the size of france <laughs> damn. damn think of that dude it took me a day to drive through to the middle of texas so there's a Texas in the ocean, and there's still a lot of space. I mean, <laughs> what, what the fuck does that got anything to do with it? No, it goes back to the whole thing. You know, you're like, yes, oh. the ocean is fucking enormous, but there's that much fucking waste there that it's yeah. like the size of a fucking state. I know that's a lot. Like that, it, it takes a day to drive through. Like, fuck, dude. Like that's in the ocean. In the next 10 years, it'll be bigger. Mm-hmm. Bigger mm. and bigger. It's only going to get bigger. bigger, and it's going to affect the... The ozone. Water. No, not oh, the water. ozone. The fucking... Uh, the marine life. Yeah, marine life. It's going to affect the E-zone. The E-zone <laughs> layer. The E-zone <laughs> layer. E-zone layer. Water world. He's going to be Kevin Costner. Don't get landsick, That web dude. feet fucker. <laughs> I bet you do. Don't get landsick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's getting land six. Son. And next one in here. Uh, good thing eight towns on the podcast. We got Rufus saying, "Keeping it real." Oh, rolled a little joint. That is real. That's bro. how psycho less rolls him. That's <laughs> real. That's real. All right. It's, it's gonna smoke, hey, man. We gonna smoke it. It's gonna smoke, man. Oh, um, <laughs> listen. I'll be one thousand with you. It needs work. The lighting <laughs> end is not supposed to be smaller than the end you're hitting it from. That's crazy, man. But, you know, keep practicing. You'll get there. Right. We got to even that weed out. Mm. He's got enough weed, too. Add a little more weed in there. He'll enjoy. Yeah, add a little bit more weed in there. Get it all one one size. I can't even, I don't even know what to call this. this is, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like when the umbrella's closed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> like that bitch. Up. <laughs> That's like fucked that bitch. Up. <laughs> hey, when you just come out of the rain, you <laughs> just wrapped it. 
but you'll <laughs> again. Hey, you, it you, doesn't look pretty, but you'll enjoy it. You ever roll the joint like in a dark ass club, and it's like, shh, like whatever, just roll that bitch. Yeah, or like while you're the passenger that's, and they're that's driving. That's what it looks like. <laughs> before rolling trays. Yep. Yeah, before rolling trays, that shit was tough. You rolled some pregnant yeah. albums, album covers, man, were the original yeah. rolling tray. CDs. Mm-hmm. I've done it all. Yeah. CDs, vinyls, whatever. And we got Sabi up in here. He's saying, got to meet part of the squad at Dr. Green Thumbs LA. Yeah. Got blessed by Redline Reserve and Bart's Barbecue. <laughs> he looks like a big version of Aton. <laughs> <laughs> big Ton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were out there playing some tunes. Yeah, it was a good good day. It was it was a nice day, too. Hey, it was a sunny. perfect weather. It was sunny, and it was breezy at Ooh. the same time. It was, it was a good weather. That's some Bart's Barbecue right there. That's oh, the sandwich yes. you got. <laughs> oh, Bart. yes. Yeah. When you bought... Uh, you bought some O Red line. Red is that line a hybrid O Reds. The pickles kills it. That was that's just mm, the pick, cherry yeah, on top. That's, the pickles. I love that. Yeah, that's yeah, the, that's, bro. that's mm. where the loves that be. That's the, I told him. Dead ass. I was there. I saw you. True that. Ooh, yeah, that O Reds, man. That's yeah. some heavy shit. Little bazooka. Big up to Rojo. Yeah. Um Glad we're not rating this. <laughs> but I, I know you had a good time with that fucking thing. Looks good to me. You just gotta apply yourself to something. <laughs> like make that be the joints, dog. <laughs> make that be the joints. And we got Smokestack Mac up in here. Sent this a little art. Damn. Hell yeah. Fuck was, you, asshole. Good thing would, Cali Blaze is in here. I would get that tattered, <laughs> but that's way too detailed. That's so sick. Cali Blaze, the art hater. <laughs> the art hater. Picking on all the art kids. I need a fucking <laughs> yeah, dude. He's picking on all the art kids. I need that in a fucking frame. You know what I mean? That's that's dope. fucking so sick. That's that's probably some of the best artwork I've seen here. You got ET over there, Beetlejuice. Everybody. A gremlin. <laughs> Michael Myers. Snake from Escape from LA. Indy, Indiana Jones. Cairo with the bird dreads in the background. Predator. Jason. <laughs> ET. ET. Chud. Gremlin. Rambo. Chuck, Beetlejuice, Freddy Krueger, RoboCop, Freddy, Slimer, Slimer, Back to the Future Back car, the Stay future. Puff guy, the Michelin, yeah, the Michelin, or Michelin, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's in Stay Puff. You're he's right. Stay Puff, yeah. But he looks like the Michelin man. I think the Michelin man was inspired inspired by him. Was inspired by the Stay Puff guy. I think it's either a ride special. That's nice. A Snake Plissken right yeah. there. <coughs> yeah. Escape, Escape from New York. Oh, little Ghostbuster man right there, too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Slimer. Slimer. With Obey. The, with the Ecto Cooler High C. That's um, They Live, the movie. Which one? They Live, the movie, Obey. You see Obey, movie? right, right, right. Hey, RoboCop <coughs> was out there shooting everybody, huh? I saw the movie recently. I was like, damn, this wouldn't give a fuck. He no, was, it was known. <laughs> he was just out there like, fuck oh, you. Dude. Hey, the little dude, is that from Saw? Right now, the guy that's in the middle. He's on this on the. That's car. not from Saul. Oh, okay, no, th- no, go up more. That guy right there. Yeah. No, it's not from Saul. Who is? Where is he from? Is that that's or is that Beetlejuice? No, oh, Beetlejuice God. is in the bottom. I don't right. know who the fuck that is. That's that little. Dance. There's Mystery someone in the guy. shadows too. Mystery man. I forgot to help that. One. Robo. Robo. Cop. Mystery dude. Chud right there though. I see him. Shout out to Smokestack Mac. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Yes. Yo, he's awesome. awesome. And we got Steve-O from the 209 saying had some good oh. snacks for lunch yesterday. Deep-fried asparagus stuffed with cream cheese and crispy shrimp bowl. Word. Nice. That shit looks good. Those asparagus go back with the, I don't know. Ooh. That shit makes your pee smell funny, but those shit look good. Yo, asparagus Clean tastes good out. with anything, B. That's true. Clean. Oh, I become a fan of asparagus that. now more than ever. Oh, oh thank you, real busted of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit looks good, bro. Like for real. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends on the sauce too. Anything fucking fried, bro, or like what the tempura style. Tempura style, anything like especially any vegetable. When you go eat sushi, and like that's one of the things I love to. I'll fuck around and get some vegetable tempura real quick. Yeah, because everything. That in that style is fucking delicious. It tricks your mind into thinking like this is unhealthy, but it's actually pretty good. And sweet and sour sauce too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's I'll the, eat all of it. What's the next one, Colton? 
And next up in here, we got a little Temple of Teague saying Bully Blaze out here putting that negative energy in the art world. Word. Damn, fools are out there to like, like show him, like, you talk shit about our artwork? <laughs> this is pretty fucking impressive right here. Right? No, that's yeah. dope. No, and by the way, Cali Blaze does love art. This is like a vinyl cover or something. The that's first one. Dope. Yeah, come on here tomorrow and be like, yo, what the fuck? Everyone thinks I hate her. No, no, nah, bro. You got like a hunchback egg, some pear looking ass fool in the front. That nah. mask Cairo has, that he, but he's not cool that's enough to on, wear it. That's uh, the mask. What's his name? MF, MF Doom. Doom. MF yeah. Doom, bro. Yeah. All right. King Ghidorah. That was family, B. That's family right there, MF Doom. Yeah. I also sent this in right here. It's like motorcycle that's Cairo with dreads. <sighs> Look at that. Yeah. That's super dope. Look at that. He has dreads too. Yep. No fleas. <laughs> Next. Sent this in as well. Oh, that's dope. I like that one. I like the bigger. That's a big. That's I like. There's so much going on. I would fucking punch that picture on a tri mushroom Why? trip. That, oh, on a mushroom trip? Yeah, on a mushroom trip. That lady. Yeah, oh, you like, tripping stop on staring mushrooms? at me. You're looking at this shit. Oh. I, yeah, I do. I have a very, like, my office is covered all in fucking mush. I mean, uh, mushroom type of paintings. Really? I would think I would probably like that. That looked like a good you, trip. You never stared at some painting. You're like, man, you better stop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, you better. <laughs> you, no. put a, you put a towel over it, like that. That stops you. Or when you go into the haunted mansion and you see that painting that has the eyes to yeah. follow you. Nah, I, I look away. There's real paintings I think that have that ability. You, you like Halloween shit, bro? For me, yeah. yeah I love Halloween. Yeah, you be yeah. going to haunted houses and shit. Yeah, you like a good scare. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I go in, I I dance with the devil. <laughs> All right, right on. Have you ever had like a paranormal experience? Nah, I ain't never had no pair. Like you never had some shit go like, whoo, just shift? Nah, I ain't never. Had never no. seen nothing funny, crazy, or, or felt something? I would have thought you would have like. a ghost or something. Yeah, like yeah. a ghost. Well, you know, I played with the Ouija board one time. No. Oh, you did? How old? And I, it was a shift in that. How old were you? Probably around 15. Whoa. Damn. Damn. You know. I don't believe in that shit, man. That nah, shit, bro, that shit, that shit is that shit, real. That shit is real. Yeah, yeah. It's like a portal, bro. It's like a door. It's like it's like having that Spider Man ring and no and you know with the you know what I'm saying it opens up a portal, but it's like the most like janky version of a fucking portal, bro. Like you know what I'm saying like you you open this shit up and there's no control. You know what I'm saying? Like the yes, you, yeah, you're not gonna get yeah, you're not we, getting the best spirits. Yeah, because you, talk. you yeah you're like going to the junkyard for like po car parts, but that, that's what the Ouija board is. Uh, you don't know who's coming through there. Yeah, you don't know what's <laughs> coming through. Right. But what if, if, if something comes through, did something come through when y'all when y'all did it? No, nah, it really ain't nothing. To to believe in and nothing. It's just uh, you know, a Parker brother gang. Buy buy that shit at Toys R Us. Like, they don't sell it no more. You know, a group of people was playing that shit. It was going through our school. Somebody yeah. found a Ouija board and we played it and boom, wrote a song about it. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> motherfuckers thought we was crazy with that Ouija board, but now nah, it was just a song, man. Right on. Says it right there, Parker's Brothers Inc. Parker, mm -hmm. Parker Brothers Inc. They had the they, most. They made, it, they made it for a long ass time. Yeah, and then I watched. They took it out of. Why they rotation. took it out? They took it out because it's not, it, it it got it got condemned as not being a suitable child toy. Yeah. So they took it out of Toys R Us. So anybody who has one of the last pressed or anything like that, like sealed, that shit's worth some bank. Oh. Yeah, they shouldn't have never been in there then. Yeah, yeah. I watched. They they knew what they were doing, bro. That's like like they selling voodoo dolls or something. <laughs> I mean, that, that, <laughs> you could you could make that as a toy, and they do for certain like Halloween releases. But I've always wondered like why certain toys get banned. Like you can't have like my first witch set or my first fucking voodoo doll because it's just it it it, it, it <laughs> yeah you can't bro. They could do my if, first if, everything, if, but if, if you go to fucking Louisiana, you could find little shit like that. I've He's, always like dreaded going there, but I want to because the food. Where Louisiana, they New Orleans, great, great Louisiana. Food. They got a lot of shit. gypsy shit out there. Yeah, for sure. They got some great fucking food. Out I gotta get like there, three, right? clean, no two cleanings before I go over there. Well, you go to the <laughs> French Quarter, and there's, uh, you know, it's a pretty historical spot, and there's been so much that's happened there. You have no choice but to feel that. Energy. My last name is right. French. Yeah, that, that it's 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 wild out there. Yeah, and it's, the food is amazing. Everything. Oh. Yep. And next up in here, we got Twackalack. Little artwork called "The Rich, The Dead Are Rich." All right. Okay, that's We're dope. Right. On. I like that. That looks like the stone cold uh, skull. 
I like the anarchy amongst the money. Hey, he's back in the ring on Saturday, bro, after so many years. Oh, come on, man. He's I, two. No, I swear to God. I fucking saw the, the, the preview. Stone Cold? Yes, he's back in the ring. for. I might fucking pay for a WrestleMania after fucking 12 years of not watching it. Isn't and it then you're going to hit us and you're going to be disappointed because, yeah. you know, he's probably. I'm not going to watch Stone Cold get beat, dude. He's First not going to wrestle. No, he is. He's supposed to. He's supposed to fight this guy who's been uh, fucking tarnishing his name or fucking talking shit. Yesterday he was on Raw. I don't know why I ended up there, but I was like, "Yo, they said Stone Cold," and I grabbed one of the beers, yeah. the, the, you know, his uh, Broken Skull beer. Yeah, and I drank one. Did you I'll, do that to it? That's the art right there. What he does. If he wins on 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 Sunday, I will oh. fucking do that. But look, really? a lot of the hey, listen, a lot of the beer gets smashed right on that fir first impact. Look, out a lot. Uh, Boom. Uh, Bam! But, is it, hey, I gotta say, that's a that's a technique, right? There. You, <laughs> man, look at that. As a '90s kid, bro, like like grown up, like you you you, know, you, you, you always want to do that. Like I've always wanted to do that. That's what I'm gonna do. I wonder why like, once I get my biz. I wonder why Send Dog doesn't do this. I would always picture Send Dog. <laughs> yeah, right. Like rocking it like that. You should do that at a show, right? Just oh, Modelo would the crowd would it. go crazy. Be real. You know, ah, not for nothing, but you could tell Stone Cold party, bro. Yeah. Hey, not afraid of the party, bro. Sendog does it. DJ Lord's fucking dwarves. <clears throat> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> My turntables. Why are you doing this? And next up in here, we got Victoria Pastouche hitting the vape pen again. All right. Hell yeah. That's what I'll be doing in the studio. I'll be smoking. In the crib. Damn, she took a nice pull right oh, there. Yeah. That shit. <coughs> That's <coughs> actual word. Those are key because, you know, like they don't create a lot of smoke like a joint does. A joint is very loud. Airport friendly. It's one of the loudest because, what? you know, the smoke. The smell, right? Yeah, it's uh, like smoke signals, son. True that. You know what I'm saying? I smoked vapors one time in, in a plane and, and, and my boy was like, yo, you fucking crazy. I'm like, fuck that. I was blowing that <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're crazy. Psycho easy. Hey. That is kind of crazy on the air in the ocean. It's a federal yeah, plant. man. I keep my must have it all day long. <laughs> yeah. And that seemed, I was going to say, that seems to be it for submissions. All right. Thank you for the submissions. Keep them coming to be real TV contests at gmail.com. We'll run them. You know it. All right, and uh, now it's about time that we open up the doors to the insane asylum. That means y'all. So if you got questions, you got shout outs, you want to make comments, you could do that via Super Chat. We invite you right now. We appreciate your donations um, that, that come through that Super Chat. So Any um, questions for Lays? Yeah. Drop them. Word. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. Let's do this. First one of the day, we got Sven up in here. Thank you so much to Sven for the super chat. Sven. Sven, dog. Thank you very much. And we got T. Perez up in here saying, Eight years old, I jacked a CD from my cousin's room based off the art. It was 1999 Eternal. First time listening to rap, it blew my mind. I was hooked. Blessed Easy E. Much love, much love. And T. Perez is asking, Lazy, how was it rolling with Easy in the Impala? I mean, you know, it was a dream come true back back then, you know. I was about 20 years old from Cleveland, Ohio, riding around with Easy e You know what I'm saying? It was like a dream come true. He was a real down-to-earth person, you know what I'm saying? And it was it was live, for real. He was a good guy. Rest in peace, easy. And we got Carla up in here saying, I was in sixth grade waiting for the school bus, listening to my brother's Bone Thugs CD in 1999, a cassette on a Walkman. Walkman. Oh, dope cassette. No, the Walkman was the shit. Cassettes. Walkman. The Walkman. I recently we bought one. Retro, that, going bro. retro, huh? Well, I mean, it was still in packaging. Love, All right. We got Chief Token up up in here saying, long live Chief Wahoo. Chief Wahoo. We didn't know about Chief Wahoo. <laughs> That's the Cle Cleveland, Ohio. The Indian on the hat is Chief Wahoo. I be chiefing in my Wahoo. You know Word. Word. Yeah. 
We got Mark Lala up in here saying Maine, Bowen, and Cypress need to team up for a tour and come through SoCal. Yeah. 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 We were saying it. Yeah, you were just talking about it. Yeah, we already put it on the wood, so, you know, that's going to happen. And we got Earth Morning Jay up in here asking, wasn't Coco a gorilla, the ape that knew sign language? Yeah. I believe so. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I figured he's the one who know that one. Yeah, don't you know yeah. you're like... Yeah, but they didn't teach a full-grown gorilla. I mean, I don't sign know. language. They had him from when he was born and taught him that Yeah, through his lifetime. I don't know that sure. many famous apes. Wow. <laughs> no, none of us do. How like, they, they never really had, like, an identity in Hollywood, bro. Like, you know, that like, for all the ape movies, it was, like, three different apes. Just, they, yeah, just they, three they, they trained yeah i mean from at least minimum i don't know how many in total some of them didn't know how, you know you can't really tell the difference they're animals right i think the most famous one was clint eastwood's orangutan oh yeah and he would, clyde any which way but loose right turn clyde and then he beat the shit out of you with that right hand oof he, I mean, give you a nice little right hook the orangutan son <laughs> knocking fools out an orangutan. Orangutan. Those are like more exotic than your regular chimpanzee. Word? Yeah, they got way more range. <laughs> All right. Are they quicker? More range. Nah, they're slow as fuck. No, they're slower. Mm. They got like a fat ass face. Still hit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking rip your eyes out and pull I mean, your balls yes. off, son. What you just said is 100% true, Wes. <laughs> And we got Cisco 2269 up in here saying, Busy Bone once said in a song, I don't want the money. I want as much love as y'all give Snoop. I want to let you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony, I've been on that level for a long time, keeping it 100. Excellent. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was love. Appreciate it. Appreciate all that love, man. We got Claudia up in here sending us some love. Hell yeah. Back at you, Claudia. Thank you. Word up. Thank you very much. <laughs> and next up in here, we got Midget Mike saying, Lazy Bone, what was it like recording the voice for the Point song on Black Panther's soundtrack? Ooh, that was a long, long time ago. Man, that was probably our very first time collaborating with all the other big stars you know what i'm saying so that was one to remember I, I i ain't heard nobody talk about that in over 20 years i'm gonna have to go listen to that <laughs> or we always have fun with it though believe that that's dope and we got kelly blaze up in here saying what's good fam just checking in hope y'all enjoy the show and your day we'll see all of y'all tomorrow Salute. Hell yeah. Peace. Salute to the bro. Kelly Blur. Salute, Kelly Blaze. Kelly Blizzle. We got Midget Mike up in here asking Lazy, do you remember the first rhyme you wrote? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. It was, uh. What age was this? Ooh, I had to be about eight. Nine. Fairy tale land. Woke up this morning, I was in a cartoon. Started to see the singing baboon. <laughs> I was, <laughs> shit, it was crazy. It was <laughs> it was a story rap called Fairy Tale Land. But, crazy. Yeah, shit. you know once once it get in your mind, pretty much, it, yeah, it really never leave. You know what I'm saying? So it's always there. We got David up in here saying, "I have a question for Be Real." I know we've seen a lot of artwork today. How much input do you have on the artwork on your albums? I mean, we all have our input on it. So, you know, um, they ask us we, what we want to see, and we tell them, and they try to get as close as possible, if not, like, on target. And uh, for this one, we kept it pretty simple. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we all pretty much put our two to 25 cents in, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes a dollar. We got Darkwing Duck up in here asking for a moment of silence for Scott Hall. Rest in peace, Scott Hall. Yep. All right, three, two.
Rest in peace. We got Ben G up in here saying, been listening to Cypress Hill and Bone Thugs and Harmony since sixth grade, going on 30 years now. Making good choices. Yeah. Sure. That's dope. Those are strong choices right there. Very good taste in here. Strong. We got Sin City Reviewer up in here saying, Lazy Bone, you're the man. Be real, much love, and I love this channel. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, man. And welcome to it, you know. Spread the love, spread the word. Um, by the way, if you haven't smashed that like yet, go ahead and do so. If you're fucking with this right now and you you can, you want to continue to fuck with it, subscribe and smash all notification. You get down with the content where we drop Monday through Friday. This show runs 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 Eastern, Monday through Friday live. So, um, you know, join us. And next up in here, we got Otis Biscuit saying, shout out to Lazy Bone. My older brother used to bump you guys every morning. I would go into elementary school singing Buddha Lovas with the, at the top of my lungs. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Because we love the Buddha. Rifa really makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we got Flume Stratimus up in here saying, beat nuts, Cypress Hill, and Bone Thugs on the same podcast. This is some legendary stuff. You ain't wrong. Cheers, brother. We got Busy523 up in here saying, What up, Lazy? Much love from Canada. When can we get that speed of sound with Twista and Eminem? Buck, buck to the bang. Man, I just did it. We just did a show with Twista a couple days ago, and we talked about it. It's coming. Speed of sound on a whole nother level, though. So we we'll be torn with Twister, torn with him, and and working on the record. So look out for it. That'll be crazy. Who you who you think will be a good battle f to go at Eminem with that whole flow style? I mean, it's y'all the originators of that. So. Well, everybody want to battle Eminem now. I just got hit with this at uh, <laughs> yeah, for, at the airport. Everybody's looking for a match for M. Yeah, at the airport, uh, TMZ walked up on me and asked me about that. But I don't know who mm. who got a problem with him. <laughs> and it's not about a problem. I just think it's oh. about a good battle, flow battle. Yeah, that's the good. Yeah, versus flow battle. Shit, I'm always put my money on crazy bone and busy bone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Flesh and bone. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> Twister. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if you're talking about catalogs. There's so many different dy dynamics of like. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, Matchups are crazy. Yeah. You gotta have the right one. I don't. I don't know, but I know Eminem catalog is a motherfucking problem. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's one of the for deepest any, catalogs for anybody, you know of jams. I M mean? period is a problem. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that nigga is yep. ridiculous. He's the triple threat. Man, that nigga ridiculous. I love him, I'm for real. We got Dr. Zeus up in here saying, Lazy, what was it like collaborating with Mariah Carey on Breakdown? Ah, uh, man, that was, that was a real, real sweet time you know what i'm saying like being around mariah carey so early on in the career you know what i mean it was like them dreams were still coming true at that time so she was so nice and you know she treated us with love and respect and showered us with gifts and you know and and she smoked weed i don't know if she oh, smoked she didn't weed. smoke with you never smoked no weed with me you know <laughs> okay <laughs> But no, nah, man, she, it was it was it was real love, you know what I'm saying? Like she took care of us and as you see we end up doing more than one song over the years, you know what I'm saying? So it formed a great relationship. My bride's a real hip hop head too. Mm -hmm. Word? Yeah, yeah, she loves hip hop. That's dope. We got Kristen Ramirez saying, first album I bought was in seventh grade Bone Thugs Art of War. It was a double C D. Mm -hmm. That was the record with Tupac, uh, Tupac record on there. Yep. Thug Love. Uh. Shit, you, you guys are the only motherfuckers to have both them guys on your shit. Like, we was on 
Biggie's record, though. On he is Pac was on. Oh, know. that's right. Yeah, but we was on. But you fucked with both of them. That at that time, that was that was uh, not too many had done that or got to do that. <clears throat> both dope dope ass songs too. Yeah. Hell yeah, iconic shit right there. And we got Midget Mike back up in here saying, Lazy, it's time. Can we get you on a psycho les beat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we sitting here politicking right now, so. For real, hell yeah. We're going to make some, some fire happen. It's all finna come together. The support, the support is love. That That's the love, though, like, so. We label mates. We go back 30 years, so a lot of people don't know that, you know, but. Work. This history be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and y'all letting us know y'all want it, so we definitely going to bring it to you. Mm-hmm. We got IV up in here saying that the live concert you guys did on the show was super dope. Excited to hear all y'all at Red Rocks. Word. Word. And we got David up in here. David sending us a little game over. Ghost hippo. <laughs> Ghost hippo. Ghost Hippo, Ghost Hippo, Ghost Hippo. That's the first time I've seen the Ghost Hippo. <laughs> He's <Damn>. elusive. <laughs> and we got Javi G up in here saying much love to all the legends. Team Brosha. <laughs> That's right. Javi G. Yep. What up? And we got, Br- what were you going to say? Shout out to the Brosha. There we go. And we got Brian up in here saying, Creeping on a Come Up was my first CD ever. I was six years old. Uh, well, we, we grew up grew up to that Bone Thugs clad. That's 1994. We were six years old. That was when that album came out. Damn. We got Callie G up in here saying, That Level Up feature, Do or Die, is fire. It gets me through. Word up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Break on through my They're running them down though. <laughs> Mention the songs I need to go back and listen to. And Midget Mike back up in here saying Lazy Faces of Death album is a gem. And he's asking, Do you miss horrorcore? You know, not really. I was, you know, back back then <clears throat> it was just me experimenting and stuff like that, but you know, I stick to what's really going on, like the realism of rap, street reporting type, still on that vibe. So, yeah, we had fun. We had fun in that era too, with the hell sin and all that. Like, but it was like 15, 16 years old dropping that album. So, uh, motherfuckers still long, fuck with horrorcore. That, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Oh no, that's cool. Like, but that, like he said though, he, the props you gave, I, I feel you because them songs to me is like personal, personal in the beginning when I was figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? And so f- for that to be acknowledged, I'd be like, it's like wow, like, <laughs> I appreciate that love, man, for real. Oh yeah. And next up in here, we got Kiko from the South saying, E-Zone going to be a bookie by the end of the year. <laughs> All is gambling. Nah, just small bets, bro. I be, you know, I joined because I joined because I kept hearing like uh, Joey Diaz talk about it. And then I was like, ah, you know, I was like 10, $20 bets no, could go a long way. You could build a bank. Oh, and if you're not good at it, then you stop gambling. So, so been having some fun watching some sports and gambling here and there. But yeah, my bookie, I'll send you my referral code. We got AJ Sense up in here saying, Lazy, Easy's death still raises a lot of questions. What do you think really happened? I'd rather not speculate about what I think what happened with E. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm here really just to keep his legacy going, hold the torch up, and you know, honor the fact that he gave us opportunities to keep doing what we're doing. So Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No That's right. No speculation on mine. And AJ Sense is saying, when Bone and Cypress tours in Florida, I hope you guys come out here. Thank you. Word. Absolutely. That would be dope. When we do, if we do, 
get them tickets. We will. And just kind of refreshing the page here. Looks like we got a couple more in. We got Mark Lala saying, hey, Lazy, did you ever try your hand at growing weed? Um, Not really. Not really. I ain't even going to stunt, but I always said I'm going to try to grow me some weed. I'm thinking about it now, but <laughs> it's so easy to just get it from where I get it from. Yeah. Right. But nah, I never, I never have. And he's asking, uh, where had you heard about Hydro when the song was made? It was a thing that was in Cleveland. You know what I mean? We were smoking Hydro in Cleveland back in 1992. You know, so. Hydro days. Yeah, we grew underwater. It was the hydroponics, man. It was, yep. Hydronics. We got Alex Truggs up in here saying, Yo, Lazy, can you tell us an Easy E story? Can I tell you Easy E story real quick, man? Easy E kept in his hat, he kept joints lined up around the field. <laughs> so when we seen him, he'd be like, E, hit the hat. He always came with these motherfucking licorice joints. You know what I'm saying? We, and at, first, at first, we thought the nigga laced the shit or something because it was licorice paper for one. We, we didn't know about those. And then it was chronic. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So it's like, nigga, what you, shit. what you done came out that hat and gave us, Eva? It was just good <laughs> weed we came to figure out. God bless California. Yeah, no. <laughs> For real. Hell yeah. We got OG Skate Show up in here saying, back in the day, I heard if you could teach the world had a different chorus, was it changed for radio? You know what? I think it was because if I could teach the world, we had to change the melody of that song because it was off the uh, Pepsi New Generation oh. melody. So we had to switch that melody out. And they thought they ruined the song, but Crazy Bone went in there and fixed the melody, and it was on. It was over with. Still got, it still served its purpose, you know? That seems to be it for the Super Chats. Word up, man. We want to thank y'all for the Super Chats. And uh, salute to all y'all in the Psych Award, yes. in the Insane Asylum, and uh, to our Discord, the Discord Elise. Smoke. Uh, let's go there right now to to the yeah. Oh, and, and most of them are fucking oh, Damn, look at eight. Hey, look a full at, house. Look who's, All right. look who's up. Look who's up. Jimmy's up. Jimmy. J O Jimmy. You're up. Look at Jimmy. He's all up right now. Good for you. Anybody got a question in there? Raise hand. Raise your hand. Now's the oh, time. We got bro, big moose. Okay, what's what's what? moose got to say? Bro, big moose. He's ready to choke somebody out. Yes. Yeah, unmute your shit. There it is. There it is. There we go. Two things. Will you take another shot with me? Oh, shit. <laughs> Just so <laughs> happens, Moose. Just so happens, Moose. I had one ready for you right Man. here, B. You got the full cup. <laughs> mm. I was made different. Yeah, he got the little sombrero. <laughs> Look at that. And I got a question for you, B, and, and, and Lazy. How... How were the shows in Albuquerque when you ever went through? Awesome. Oh, always off the hook in Albuquerque. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, they get excited out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, where I'm from. You would think because we're known as the weed heads that people would be mellow at our shows, but nah. Motherfuckers come out. And not in Albuquerque. They These come motherfuckers out. come out ready for fucking. To get it all. Some say Alba, Alba crazy. Alba crazy. <laughs> Alba crazy, yeah. Some say Alba crazy. And others yeah. say, and others say Burke. Okay. That's her department. <laughs> She's the, she is the, the crafty person. All right. Okay. Whoa. I, I took That's my so shot. I took my shot. I just wanted to let you know. Oof. Jesus Christ. Oh, there you go. I did hit this. Wow. Ah. Thanks, Moose. Yeah, dude. Oof. See you in the morning, see? Yes. <laughs> Anybody else got a question in the asylum here? Before we are done, raise your hand if you have question. Question. 
Oh, I see Jimmy's got his Bone Thugs hat on right there. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. Ah. Jimmy. And he's up. And the shirt. And the shirt. Jimmy sure. representing. He's fully representing today. That's man, Jimmy. Man, that's what's up right there. We caught him in the portal the other day. Oh, man. Jimmy Jam. Much Jim. love, man. Word. <laughs> on a Friday. Word. Anybody else? Anybody else? No. I figured uh, I figured Jeffro would have a question, but oh no. shit, no, he's, he's, a, bag. he's at work. Sporting. Yeah, he's just lurking, and he, <laughs> he looks dazed and confused. Oh. There, he can't believe Lazy's. We got showing. Bibbly up in here. All right, let's that see what that is. is. Hello, hello, yo, hello. yep. Uh, I got an issue with delay a little bit, but my question is, how do you decide who does the press? Who do you decide in the group if there's a couple people around? And this is this is for Lazy Bone. Like if Crazy Bone's with you and you guys are out doing press and something's out, how do you decide who answers what questions? Oh, it's just a natural feel, you know what I'm saying? Like we'll look at it, give each other a look, and and whatever we, you know, we respond how we respond on on site, on point, anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's just. It's always a natural reaction, man. It ain't you don't have to think about it or 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 write a script for it or nothing like that. Word. Thanks for your question. Anybody else? Thank you. In the Discord. <laughs> All right. What's Utah Hawk doing over there? <laughs> snow Angels. Oh, Snow Angels. All right, cool. I seen him celebrating St. Patty's. Yeah. He's going hard over there. He's got a lively feed, man. He has a leprechaun. This <laughs> this dude is um he's a master fucking cook too. Sh- like yeah. chefing yeah. it out hard, this guy right here. Yes. Yeah. We know this for a fact. We've had it. You know what I mean? Um mm-hmm. he teases us from day to day with with the dishes and all the shit he oh, does. God. But it's um, shirt. <laughs> But we had a chance to have some of his magic, you know, at uh, we, we, were playing, barbecue. we were playing a show in Utah mm. and um, it was Bobo's birthday mm. and he came and made a feast for Bobo's birthday. Everything on hit. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Salute to the hawk. I told him. All right. Yeah. All right. Going once, going twice. Anyone else? Wait. Did I see a hand go up? Mm. Uh, no. All right. Thank you to uh, everybody <laughs> with this court. <laughs> we'll keep it moving. Thank you very much for watching this show today. Thank you to my man, Lazy Bone, for jumping in with oh, us. Man, man it's, been, it's been fun. It's been fun. Or, Definitely. Um, yes. Thank you for fucking with us as well. You know what I'm saying? Follow us on Spotify and Apple Music under the Dr. Green Thub podcast if you want to catch this on the replay or on the run. And, uh, you know, get down with this live Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Star 5 Eastern. Um, Lazy, you got any shout outs? Oh, man, I just want to shout out, you know, my Bone Brothers, my whole team, my family, man, everybody, the kids, you know what I'm saying? Just. Much love to y'all, man. Follow me on Instagram, you know what I mean? The Real Lazy Bone. Follow me on uh, Facebook, The Official Lazy Bone. And, um, yeah, we working out here, man. I got a lot of new music coming out, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Sequoia, Sequoia Winter, you know what I'm saying? She got a new single coming out called, uh, it's called L.A. Baby, you know what I mean? It's representing the West Side, so... Working with her, everybody over there at Growing Up Hip Hop that had me on the season, you know what I'm saying? So much love to them, Lil Easy E and everybody, man. So I'm just hi. That's what's up. <laughs> much right. love. If I forgot you, I love you. Y'all know what it is. Word. C minus. Uh, thanks, everyone, for hanging out and uh, being a part of the, the show. Lazy, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, to be here with you uh go pick up anything uh uh djc minus go uh djc minus.com uh i'm gonna be off for a while but i will see you guys next monday and uh word up thanks everyone for the early birthday wishes and i appreciate you and everyone that went to Motown on monday last night and uh word
I'll see you guys soon. Psycho Les. Yo, yo. Um, big up Lazy for coming through. Shout out the fam in the crib. Shout out everybody watching. Follow me on the gram, psycholess.official. And if you're looking for that merch, go to the psycholessshop.com. And I'm going to stick around for the mix tonight. I mean, today, right? Be real is about to throw it down. So, yeah. word, we here. That's right. Uh, Bolton. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Thursday, Tuesday today at Dr. Green Thumbs LA in Silmar and Token Tuesday at San Diego for a percentage off those pre-rolls. Don't forget to order that Funko, uh, Dr. Green Thumb Funko at Walmart.com. Uh, pre-order, so check that out as well. Lazy Bone. Yo, he already did it. Yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. <it's> yeah. <laughs> Salute to everybody who uh, has been, uh, you know, the whole team, the High Hungry team has been going in uh, for filming for season. This season, uh, of a season this year of High and Hungry, so we got like two episodes out of twelve in. We hope to uh, yeah. knock it out before or like before summertime. So make sure you guys follow us at High and Hungry TV. Also, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for another episode of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Also, this weekend I put in a whole bunch of new merch and a whole lot of new items on the website. So go to highandhungry.shop or flavorsbyezone.com. Some of those items go very quick. And don't forget to get your tickets for the live podcast in Riverside, April 16th at WDSTS, the number two, dot eventbrite.com. Word up. Once again, salute to Lazy Poe for coming through and kicking it with us. Yo, right big here. bro. I'm, I'm a little high. I know we going off, but I, I did want to plug the album. Oh, right. Check right. out the new album, man. You know what I'm saying? Eyes on the prize with HC the chemist. That's all I want. Hell yeah. Get that album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Salute to my man, Lazy Bump, for coming through. And uh, salute to all y'all once again. Make sure you check out uh, those Dr. Green Thumb uh, dispensaries with the insane flavors. Fire in the bag right here. OG Christmas lights. Ice cream cake. Maraschino. Honeymoon. Ruby Red. Mac 11. Mamba Juice. Godfather. Hindu Funk. Great Bonsai Bermuda 41 Mid Zoology. Julia, OMG, Cali Nights, Cherry Bomb, Holland Space Cake, Cali Lights, Rainbow Mints, Showbiz Kushido, and Beam Me Up, Scotty, and a lot more. Make sure you check them out. They're in that dispensary. Flavors. That's right. Uh, Check us in the mix, C Minus and I, right after this on Twitch. B underscore Real TV is the place. We invite you all, if you're fucking with the music, come get down with us. I don't know what we're going to make. I have no idea, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's at 422. We're going to do some shit. All right. Join us right at uh, 420. All right. So um, we invite you all. Stay with love. Love is the key. Don't be fucking around with that booth negativity. All right. We out of here. One. This guy is a rocking machine. Oh,